What up, NEC? You are watching Soul Calibur 6. I am Omega XCN and Dominican Republic's finest Nova Mage is in the house. What's the up, Nova Mage? The one and only, as you know, keeping the soul burning. Yeah. Uh, right What's away, uh, we're already having a very interesting match. We're going to be having Geek League versus Omen. As you know, Omen uh, may as well be known as the Hilde uh, in the Soul Calibur community, keeping, keeping us uh, honest against yeah. the character. And Geek League, so uh, probably, uh, well, from what I saw, Previously, he was being he was trying a couple of different characters. I saw him playing Sash before. Yeah. He has been playing Yoshi as well. So not sure what he'll be bringing into this particular matchup. Yeah. But I'm sure we're gonna be getting something inter interesting for sure. Yeah, Yoshi Zas. Um, I feel like he'll go mostly Zas for the tournament. Um, Yoshi will probably be one of those picks where um, if he's pushing to a corner, he may consider it. Uh, but I feel like we'll be expecting a lot of Zas for at least uh, this tournament, or at least this match. Uh, Zas Hilda, um, <laughs> you're talking about two characters who are like, if, if you want to play a, a 2D game, like Guilty Gear, King of Fighters, um, these are the two characters for you. They are so good at, at controlling movement, um, but not only that, but their, their vertical launchers are, are very, very good. You're talking about two characters that, you know, they, they want to touch you, even, yeah. if, if, even if you block. That's kind of where the mix-ups begin, right? Yeah, um, exactly. I was literally going to highlight that. Both, both of them have uh, pretty incredible horizontal control. Although, uh, probably he'll do more on the... I want to hit you at long range side. Sure. More, than, more than Sass, for sure. But uh, right here we go, getting started. Yeah, that's a good point. Hilda kind of want to keep... Like, they both have really good range, but, for, you know, Zasu the Mello has a pool mechanic, so uh, he wants to pull his opponents a little closer. Oh my god, that's a lethal hit right Into off the bat. Into the lethal hit. Condition with the uh, with the opponent having no meter, and that's going to be such a such big damage. Zasamel is just a monster truck of damage. If you like, get him going, especially when you get the three Ooh. curses and a lethal hit again with the six XP. Well, I mean, we talk about not movement, but it feels like Omen has to move a little bit more because uh, two verticals. Yes, right it seems like Kiko uh, straight off the bat getting the tempo uh, of the of the match. Yep, he's feeling himself. On it. Omen trying to get get the flow going, but not working so far. Okay, Charge A is one of the best moves in the game from Hilda. That's a great sidestep from Omen. Ring pressure, but Kick Leak huh? with that Zasu Mel now. Ooh, oh, that's the reverse I was just going to say that you definitely want to be careful against Sash with his back against the edge. You don't want to give him that counter hit. Absolutely not. Yeah, that's the iconic Zasu Mel system. Back against the wall, reverse ring outs for days. Omen getting caught, but he has a lot of momentum now. So we'll take him and push him into the corner. But we're thinking about that reverse ring out, so we want to watch out for that. They're keeping that meter, uh, that butter up there. Not sure why at least Omen isn't being more proactive with it, given the round situation. But oh, yep. I want to see a soul uh, charge right now. Kika no. League not relenting. Decides to soul charge finally. Let's Projectile. see if he can get something going. Mm, looking yeah. for that third curse. Gets punished for not blocking. Yeah, Hilda soul charge. Uh, a, a lot of guard breaks. Uh, has access to a knockdown low and might have the mix-up he needs to Ooh. finish it off. Oh, desperation. The, break, the beautiful break read. Gets the lethal hit. I think he was looking out for the Zasa Mel CE. Like, he doesn't want uh, yeah. Kikulik to have a chance to make a comeback. So, I love Omen just staggering the offense, not being really obvious about going in. And just like that, he baited the GI. Well done from Omen. So, we might not have a match now with Omen on the board. But talk to Ooh. the hand, baby. Zasa Mel, I-12 here. Big lethal hit gives him a pretty decent amount of bar. And I'm actually quite surprised at how aggressive Omen is being, given, you know, yeah. the bunch of bar that Kikulik has. Yeah, I feel like it took him a while to, uh, to warm up after that Soul Charge round, but wait a minute, that's a 4-6 oh. Powered by Curses, you get the knockdown, you get the damage. Yeah. Kiko League, 1-0 so far. Omen, looks like we're seeing some adjustments. We're, 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 we're seeing some, some moments of, of, uh, of, of light there. Goes Omen. into the character select screen, probably just to calm down the tempo a bit. I wouldn't Collect mind that, yeah. Oh, actually, no, he just hit the rematch. Yeah, he, he does All have right. a secret, but you know, Hilda, Hilda's just way too strong right now in the 6 6 B. It's such a strong lethal hit. Has a stupid condition that's really easy. Just you don't. Your opponent doesn't have meter. Cool. Bet six is It has to be counter hit too. But oh, yeah, we'll see that land time more than again. anything, more than the actual physical damage, I would say is the mental damage being done uh, to Omen right now with all these lethal hits. But mm, he's trying to get in there. Has the regalia charge. Gets the hit. And wake up. Look at that damage, Omen. Ooh. Oh, going for the last mix-up, but was 
a little uh. shallow, but we close it up with a 2A to shut down that movement. Call I like things. it. I, I don't know how to say it, but Omen is being like really careful playing around the yeah. CE. Like he's not falling for it, but at the same time, he's not being too defensive either. He's just poking just fine. Yeah, he, he doesn't want his timings to be too obvious, because if you're too obvious against Zasuno, especially with meter, you're gonna get CE. Zasuno's reverse mix up are just kind of deadly, so I really like the intelligence of Omen, just kind of trying to play around that. Yeah, and the timings is really important against us. Yeah, at the same time, I can tell you that you know you also don't want to be on the other side of the of the sword, which is you don't want to be just completely blocking all the time because yep. then Sass is just gonna be poking, poking, poking for free, and you definitely don't want that situation happening. Yeah, so it, it sounds like the, the Otis has to be on Omen to kind of be the the aggressor here. Uh, but again, I, I do like um, his style of aggression. You know, again, it's not obvious. Uh, he's he's staggering. He's shaking up his timing so he doesn't get GI'd, and he's getting rewarded with such big Ooh, damage. He tried to reset there. Tried excellent. to go for the reset, doesn't work, gets a pretty good GI, doesn't fall for the bait of the break. Hmm. Uh, pushes card. him away because he, he wants to see if he can bring this round back. Omen, oh, oh. a bit careless with the vertical there. Sasamon's got the damage to make a comeback very easily. Yeah, just charge. one more mix-up could do it. Close out with that Be mid. Oh, no, he's dead, he's absolutely, oh no, wait, yeah, time stop. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was exactly. About the scaling, but I thought he was going to do 4 6 B into the time stop, but he he chose to do 6 6 A plus B, which is fine because he gets a lot of damage from that. Yeah, what a comeback from Kikalik. Uh, definitely has the character. A lot of damage coming out. Comeback way too easy. Ooh, Homie, you probably want to use that bar as soon as possible. You really don't want to be fighting this ass, but. Looking oh. good, getting some mix-ups in. Okay, he's remembering the reverse mix-up, so he's staggering a little bit more, getting his uh, character away from the ring edge. Don't want to deal with that ring out anymore. We're in the center of the ring now, so it's as neutral as you can good get. Good awareness, gets the whiff punish. Oh, man, Not the punish. biggest damage he could have gotten, but still something. Now, if we can save this meter to the next round, that would be that put Omen in tremendous. That would be nice if it could, but this is being dangerous. Even one CE from Sash could be extremely dangerous here. Yeah, we don't want to be greedy. That's what you're saying, Nova Mage. Okay, decides okay. to use one meter. Oh, oh the 6 b again. No counter hit. He's afraid of the break, but he's going to end up dying oh, by taking checkmate. all that damage instead and the break in the end. What a way to start off NEC 2023. Kikulik coming out on top against uh, one of New York's finest, Omen. We'll see you guys again, but great start to the tournament. Yes, good, good find nonetheless, even though it was a 2-0, but... Uh, that was great. Pretty, yeah. pretty good interactions, and I guess Omen is a bit rusty, but uh, he did show up some adaptation. He didn't just, you know, get completely run over by, by Kika League, but Kika League definitely showing that he's been at the game. He's been definitely focused on his new character. Uh, or maybe new from my perspective, not sure if he's been at it for a while. Sure. But nonetheless, uh, show me some pretty good skills there with the lethal hit and other combos. Yeah, it's like I, I feel like uh, Kick like he, he didn't win with you know shenanigans. He didn't win with like no, it was just like, pretty it, you know pretty standard. Yeah, so, yeah, solid. And you know you you can see the wheels turning in Omen. It's like okay, it's like I know you got the CE, I know you got the reverse ring out. So I'm gonna shake up my timings. I'm not gonna go really obvious, and I'll try to you know break the the GI whip. So um, and there's just um you know rough around the edges. That's that's comes with the territory with no. not playing for a little bit. But no, yeah, as you know, and also there's the when I get into your mind, uh, you know, kind of thing that. Uh, when you get the tempo going and uh, you're just hitting and hitting and you you keep getting counter hit and getting hit by combos. That's the mental damage. Yeah, the mental damage, as I was saying, with the lethal hits, especially in the first match. In the second match, he was more composed, like uh, Omen was more composed. Making but nonetheless, uh, Kika Lee was uh, completely calm. So, sure, yeah. He, yeah, he just kept pushing and got a pretty solid one. Yeah, e even when you make the adjustments, get awesome, though. It's awesome, though. He's one of the highest damage output characters in the game, even without meter. He just needs to cut off with system mechanics. So, you know, so it was um, it was tough with that one round where Omen had such a life lead, but Kick Lake's like, yeah, I'm Zasuno, awesome dog, and he just, you know, busts out the curses and the meter. It it, it could be tough. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, I'd say it's, it's it's a good match, a great way to start NEC 23, <laughs> and we're in a good next one. Uh, we got the classic uh, New York versus Maryland. Um, Night E, um, he was there at the beginning of Soul Calibur 6, and then you know what? It happens to all of us. Life gets in the way. You know, he got uh, married with kids, um, but I'm really happy to see him come back out. You know, he's still, you know, Maryland lives in Virginia now, but, you know, boom, yeah. we'll basically take anyone from Maryland. <laughs> All right, so here we're we're having Incendiate uh, playing Terra this time, I see, is if I understand this correctly. Oh, not even a button let check. Me I, check. I feel like it's a button check. He, he'll, or, he'll, or is it a oh. button check? Let me, let me check. I'm not There's sure. There's no way he'll pick. No, it's a button check. Wait. 
we, we, we don't know production. We'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to see. We will know real soon. Is he really going to play Suska? No, no, it's a no, button. It's, it's a Wait. <laughs> no, it's a button it's check. A button check. It's a button check, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we got mixed by the mix-up. Yeah, yeah, he does. All right. He plays Suska, but uh, Nighty, so Tira is Nighty's main, so that is... Uh, actually, that that is absolutely true. Uh, Incendiate, you know, he, we we known him of the plethora of characters. He, he he has the Shanghua. He's got the Ivy. He's got um, Geralt, the, the Witcher himself. Well, he's definitely been practicing because I've incidentally ran into him in ranked, and he's definitely uh, played a couple of those characters, including Tira. Sure. So. Yes, I wouldn't be really surprised if he went for that, but it seems like he's going for Geralt, I think. He's on the player one side, so... Yeah, and there's there's a lot of benefit for playing, you know, characters you won't even bring to tournament. You know, it's, it's for the matchup. It's kind of like getting yeah. to the mind of... So, you know, if I'm playing Tira online ranked, I don't I don't play Tira. I don't play on the player in tournament. But, you know, t taking a Tira online in uh, ranked matches, you know, I get to get into the mind of a Tira player. You know, like, what am I looking for? Uh, what moves should I use? What moves should I not use? All right, uh, so... And he's got that for Tira, so it's going to be tough for Night E, but... Uh, uh, right up. Incendiate applying his typical poke pressure with Geralt. Um, the GI right away seems into the ring. Oh, no, no, actually doesn't get there. Little shallow. But pretty decent position for Incendiate here. Gets another counter hit confirmed. Oh, ring after mm. in play here. Incendiate's going to be a little bit careful about the ring edge. Well, but Knight E took advantage of that. He knows him walking around, so he's just going for those run counters. But good sidestep for Incendiate. Yeah, Tira doesn't particularly have like a reverse ring out, so. Uh, the incident is probably pretty comfortable in applying pressure to Tira at the edge. Who gets the clash confirmed into the Igni? Yeah, it's a really interesting clash setup. Um, the strength of Geralt is just the, the movement. Oh, that, that, that's one of the. I think that's one of the better back turn moves. In yeah, the game, like. that back turn B plus K yeah, is just insanely it, fast, yeah. and the damage it leads into is. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's one of those things that just like. It's, it's it's tough. It's it's one of the not the most like obviously like top tier move, but like that's something you have to play around. Like it has to be respected. Yeah, much unlike I guess uh, Killix back turn Killick B plus K, K, which yeah. everybody's just aware of because it's so so. And well, that counter hit confirmed goes into the ring. And, oh. and Did he actually use the bar? Okay, it was the final no, yeah, round, so yeah, it doesn't yeah. even matter. Yeah, we just gotta get take a <laughs> shot take a shot for the fallen soldiers. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be one zero so far that was in pretty. favor of New York's finest Incendiate against Maryland here. Yeah, pretty um, fast round from Insane. The pretty dominating. Seems uh, calm and collected. Yeah, you're talking about, you know, uh, someone else like shaking the rust. Uh, you know, get yeah, Night, Night E, take care of the family. But, you know, he's uh, he's he, he's tapping into the tier of fundamentals. So, you know, in Jolly, you got to go for the 6B mix ups, uh, pretty hard to deal with. And then you just got to make your way to Gloomy. And that's a great way to start. Get the 6B mix ups, uh, try to, you know, roll the dice to get into Gloomy. Um, he got one dice roll, but it didn't pull, so he still got to work in Jolly. But well, yeah. one thing for sure is that Incendiate is, with his own Tira knowledge, is not letting anything fly by. Any punishes that he can get, he's just getting them. Getting a lot of counter hits, too, so he has a pretty Ooh. good read on his timing. Here we go, Gloomy. For the first time in the set, it seems get like. Get that punish, 90, baby! 3B, that's a Maryland punish. In there. We got Maryland in the house going crazy for Night E. That's what's up. We're going to stay. <laughs> Still stay in gloomy Tira for this round two here, but I must say, Nighty, uh, he's he's got to watch out for the movement. Uh, one of Geralt's strength is being able to take uh, take advantage of your space, use your 3D space, moving in and out. Uh, Tira has some tools to shut down the movement, but wow. Second City is just going to contain him. Yeah, the incredible poke game coming out from Insane. Poking. Just not letting Nighty do anything at all. Just all uh, control, all control from the city. For a second, you could say that it would be online. <laughs> game but no <laughs> <laughs> it starts off with the axe to pull him into the combo collecting another sign for that won't be lethal like hit later started. on uh. killing the back step which is a uh, you know it, it's, it's not a typical move to use as the back turn B plus K Ooh, again goes but into the unblockable setup and lands it but yeah with the 2k just finishes it and pretty huge damage sequence there right, a lot of meter and city is just really comfortable oh, right now. into another clash setup Oh, oh man. Way too comfortable right now. Oh, misses it. Okay. Oh, that's a setup. That's with a Maryland setup. With the back turn GI. Maryland does the drop combos. We set up. Okay, breaks the throw. Pretty good movement and decides to soul charge. What is insanely going to do about it? Nope. Tries to sidestep baiting something, but doesn't work out. Ooh. Oh. 
extra damage because Tira is in Soul Charge. So we're going to use that Silver Storm uh, to get the extra damage. Unfortunately for those of you that may not know, that throw from, from Tira is actually a vertical and Incendiar managed to sidestep pretty successfully yeah. well, into the big punish to finish the game, yeah, basically. Yeah, typically you can't sidestep throws, but that's a, that's a special yeah, command Yeah, that's throw. a special case. Uh, it's unbreakable, so uh, to balance that out, you're able to sidestep it. Uh, otherwise, it's still one of the strongest tools in the game. Unbreakable throws, you know, always good to have since your weapons are. All right, I'm going to be yielding the spot to uh, JJJ here, who's going to be commentating for the next match while I probably go play my own. So I'll be catching you guys later. Okay, good luck. guys hope you're all enjoying the matches so far we're just getting started join me right now is the phenomenon from Philadelphia JJJ how's it going man man that alliteration was fantastic I Good know. job. I was really kind of hoping <laughs> that the camera wasn't gonna be on and then we could just be like it was all an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that have been great no that, that would have been great and you know it was a happy accident yeah oh, oh sounds production. like we're gonna be getting it next time oh, that'll be great Yep. Well, hi, everybody. My name is JJJ. It looks like Nova Mage is probably going to be playing in the tournament in not too much time. So we'll see if he's going to be on stream. Presumably, that will be the case in, you know, a little bit. Uh, yep. So it's uh, oh, so it's going to be uh, Nova Mage versus uh, Kiki League. So. Nova Mage Kiki League? Okay. Oh, he's checking that we've got the NEC merch yep. going on right now. I'm going to stand tall the way that I never do. <laughs> I should make sure that I'm not hunching. This is a good exercise. This is a good exercise to make sure yeah. that yeah. I'm just, you know, that I'm handling things correctly with my posture. Yeah, we were talking about exercise techniques, so, you know, it could be part of it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Step one, putting your NEC shirt. Uh huh. It looks like the next match is going to be Jimbo Nader versus Scavenger. And man, oh man, I'm sure they've played a handful of times, probably in Xanadu, perhaps in online a variety of other places. Online yeah. tournaments. Uh, online tournaments probably as uh, well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. So. so probably definitely very familiar with each other, which is to be expected for a tournament like this uh, at this age of the game. Everybody here is basically uh, Soul Calibur diehards. <laughs> is probably <laughs> the best way that we can say it. So uh, presumably... How Maru versus Siegfried. I could also see 2B versus Siegfried, but uh, typically speaking, that's considered one of like the worst matchups. I, I would game. do 2B into Siegfried. That's what I thought too, and I was on uh, the same league team for the Buminati League as Jimbo when he elected to play 2B against Rip City Outlaw, and both Incendiate and I were like, "Why is he?" I, I uh, imagine the Discord chat. Uh, yeah, while we, that we were was like, happening. "Why did he decide to do that?" And he ended up winning. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's, 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 like, got, he's got something going on. And, and Rip, Rip City Outlaw is, is definitely uh, a top secret player in that the we'll world. That we'll see uh, next weekend as well. That we'll see round, next yeah. weekend into you know the crazy bracket that is bonus round. But before we get into that, uh, yeah, so you know, clearly, looking I guess we're not like going to see the TV. Yeah, yeah, looking like the Halmar. Frankly speaking, Siegfried versus Halmar, not necessarily that much better. Uh, it can be kind of frustrating to deal with a character that has longer range than Halmaru, not by a whole lot, but by a bit, a noticeable amount. Uh, the guard damage could potentially be in Siegfried's favor, uh, though the maneuverability with regards to backdash is about as night and day as possible. Halmaru's backdash being the best, Siegfried's being the worst. Sure, so that should be just um, uh, the base game plan to, yeah. to you know revolve the match around. I think, think we're going to see a lot of memes. I think that's what we're in for. I think we're seeing meme Halmaru right now. And Skev is very capable of meme Siegfried, so I think this is true. Something. Yeah, meme free versus meme Maru. <laughs> That's what we're gonna. But the problem is, is that Scavenger has a huge disadvantage here due to the fact that Halmaru is on Halmaru's stage. Yep, so that right makes it a lot tougher. And the music goes hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking is about. That, yeah, is that meme enough? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fireball on block. Time to heavy Ooh. slash. Already half life. So Jimmy Nair responding immediately with the reversal edge. Uh, that is typically a uh, secret favorite mix-up. Uh, oh my god, everyone's just exploding! We, we are swinging. We have gigantic <laughs> weapons, and we're going to throw them in your face. That's what we're going to do. And that's a good step kill from Haramaru. That round was 20 seconds. <laughs> that was insane. That, that breaks the, the YouTube short record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. 
That's what everybody's thinking about. Okay, Scavenger going through the uh, the side hold mix-ups. Jimbo just doing kind of like the base default counterplay with Reversal Edge. We'll see if uh, Scavenger... You do potentially have the option of getting a lethal hit if you're as Siegfried to call out Jimbo doing a Reversal Edge there. So we'll see if it comes yeah. up later on. And not the same situation, but Scavenger did call out a Reversal Edge there uh, from the side of Jimmy Nair. But Jimmy Nair, again, just in control and uh, pretty smart to start the match early by showing your Siegfried opponent that you're willing to reversal edge yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the mix-up. So, um, and Jimmy is starting not to, smart enough to go you know, one step ahead. It's like, okay, so he's probably going to look for the reversal edge now. Now I'm going to mix it up. So that's the counter adaptation. You can already um, kind of tell that Scavenger is kind of looking out for it. He ended yep. up setting up a situation where Jimbo was going to reverse the ledge. That ended up happening. It was just ever so slightly awkward, and Scavenger didn't get punished for the reverse ledge. Wow, we just go for the eat this, and that's oh going to be the so round. Much damage. 90% of all the buttons that Jimbo pressed in that game were heavy slash. Yeah, and just and I'm still impressed with Jimmy Deer just you know establishing the conditioning early. So like if you just introduce that hesitation in your opponent, um, that, that's such a big advantage to take for you know, th for a first to two. So Scavenger just, you know, doesn't have that much time to adapt. But uh, again, it's 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 such a big advantage that Jimmy Nader, you know, gave for himself. Yeah. So it's like known, Scavenger now. I've known Jimbo for so many years now. And so I can tell just from the moment we got onto the player cam, he is so pleased with himself. <laughs> he is about is himself right now. And rightfully so. Oh, is Scavenger playing another character? I remember him playing a bit of Killick back when he was playing the game. Okay, he ended up saying a word that I can't repeat on stream, and it looks like he's going to go with Zosilamel, <laughs> going against Zos versus Halmaru. I frankly am not sure how this matchup goes. Uh, that's interesting. So, two big hitters. I guess you have a slightly better backstep, but uh, it's, it's <sighs> not by much. I, I guess, um, uh, it's the similar game plan where, you know, Scavenger on Siegfried, you know, wants to just touch his opponent, even if it's on block. So Zasumo can do that maybe a little bit cleanly. Um, higher like damage than Siegfried, potentially, too, if you set it Siegfried. up correctly. Yeah. Um, Reversal Edge is not the obvious answer to a lot of the uh, stream no, mix-ups no, that no. Zasumo has. Uh, so I think if he just... You know, it's it's one way to take away the uh, defensive options that Jimmy Dana has. Which is, it know, it will character. definitely force Jimbo to play in a different fashion, yes. that's for sure. Oh, wow, what a whiff punish. Okay, so it looks like I get the impression that Jimbo is about playing a more defensive game plan against Oslomo rather than sure. what he was doing against Siegfried. Yeah, you're talking about a character who has uh, insane reverse uh, yeah. mix-ups, uh, insane auto GIs, especially when he gets his uh, curses. And once he has meter, uh, that, that changes the pace of the game entirely. you got to yeah, watch sure. out for the, the auto GI from CE. Uh, we're still early on, but... Oh, trying Ooh. to punish. 2-2-K on block uh, oh, with a grab is not really going to work. Ah, okay. It ends up being wrong about the post-GI. Yeah, Scav has not really had a lot of success post-GI as well, and that's just kind of unfortunate. Okay, he's still throwing out these heavy slashes. Gee whiz. Oh, clash, okay. Let's get a little bit of damage here. Yeah, Beast Light K probably the optimal there. You know, having access to, like, just your Soul Coward Fundamentals, A, A, B, B, 2, A, uh, that could go a long way, but... That's true. Oh, man. Jimbo getting stuff. so much damage on so many of these spots. Oh, my God. He is memeing real hard right now. Empty Warriors focus, sidestepping the 4-6-B. On wake up. Yeah. That, this is this is very convincing by, for, for Jimbo. He is he is feeling himself yeah, he, hard right he's now. He's showing, like, you cannot play a disrespectful style against, uh, against Jimmy there. No. He's just, like... He always tries to be a step ahead. He's so he's so focused. And he's so in control. Where like you can't do like a wake up DP against him, and just like that, he just gets around the CE. No meter on side oh, scavenger. So. Using the armor from his soldier, he tried to do it again <laughs> to do. This is very similar to like when Nightmare is fighting against Asuna, just dealing with like the two hit strings yep. with your armor in between. Yep. Boy, howdy, that was. Look at Jimbo's face. He is so <laughs> about himself right now. And you know what? I am too. <laughs> How can you not at like this the, point? The, the, the face of, of pure that joy. That is the face of a killer. <laughs> Very happy killer. That was terrifying. <laughs> I assume all killers are happy. <laughs> like when they're... They're not like, like remorseful, <laughs> right? I mean, for I don't sure. know. I don't know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're not making a reveal here. We're not doing any kind of reveals. That's a very dark thing, and I would never go there. So, yeah, yeah. But I just presume that, like, you know, killers are typically satisfied with yeah, uh, you know, what they're doing. We just allow, watch a lot of movies. Yeah, I only know them from movies. Yeah. Movies and books and, you know, and those TV series and, and you know, stuff like that. But hopefully we're going to see more killers in a Soul <laughs> Calibur sense 
in the Soul Calibur sense later on in the tournament. Only, you know, I, I can only assume. Yeah. Where is Jimbo going to go? He's potentially going to be fighting the winner of me and one of the other matches that will happen later on as well. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see because uh, he also has a Raphael. I saw him practicing with Raphael earlier uh, this weekend. He obviously has a 2B. All kinds of stuff. And it looks like Omega XCN is going to be swapping out this time around. I'll be back. Who knows when we'll see Omega XCN again. We'll most assuredly be seeing him in the bracket. In fact, it looks like he's going to be playing later on in Winner's Quarters. Omega XCN against Hyro Hero Joe. So that'll be Taki versus Aswell. Was I able to was I able to do it? Oh, no. Omega XCN melted, you guys. He, he melted into the ground. So who, Oh, no. He's back. Oh, he's back. He, he, needed some, he needed to get some hydration so that he can continue to melt later on. But hey, now we've got time to duel over here. Oh, who's that? When I came on, Omega XCN was able to come up with some alliteration for who I was as an introduction. The, so I'm going to try to do the same thing. Let me see okay. if I can do this. Okay. I have to warm up for alliteration. All right, making fire. The formidable... Why did I say formidable? It's time to duel. I have to do a T. Why did I say... The only word that's in my head is terrible, and I obviously don't want to do that. He's really thinking over things. Tumultuous? No, that doesn't work either. All the T's are bad. <laughs> What's a know. good tea? Ty I can't think of Tyrannical? I don't know. Um, Tyrannical's a bit better. Uh, tenacious? But tenacious is the way to go. This is why this guy is the good one and I'm the, the bearded Stop. one. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, everybody? Uh, the, oh, I guess what he wanted to say is the tenacious yes. time to duel uh, over here again. Commentators. Terrifically Kyber, tenacious Lillard time to duel. That's what I should have done. This my time in. I'm seeing this wonderful bracket that just uh, is coming down. Uh, JQ, man. And that's why I usually call him on the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll forgive him for this time. But, uh, was it two years ago? Was the yes. last time that we commentated in, yes. in person at in person. this tournament. Yes. Not at this venue, but at this, this tournament. tournament. Yes. Oh my god, yeah, you have a great memory. I, yeah. I remember every, I, I've read every Wikipedia there ever was, and uh, I've memorized uh, all of them. Challenge me on a thing. The brain of the caliber community, yeah. everybody. Twitch chat, challenge me on a thing, and I'll uh, <laughs> respond to you like, right to your congressman. And we'll find out how we can figure that out. But it looks like we're going to be setting up oh, the reason why great. Omega XCN had to leave. is be because great. now he has to play Soul Calibur. He yes. has to play the video game. And so it's going to be him against Hyro Hero Joe. Yes, that's going to be great, man. Uh, that's basically what's looking like Taki versus Aswell. Taki versus Aswell. Uh -huh. I can't imagine it's going to be anything else. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about hot fire aggression yes, yes, yes. from both players and so it's really going to be a difference of range versus speed i have to admit in my humblest of opinions this matchup is actually kind of bad for taki mm -hmm. it can be pretty rough yeah. because taki's faster yeah. for sure but the problem is that Aswell has such long limbs and has just enough pushback on so many of his attacks that for the most part, even though Taki is faster, yeah. has to use her frame advantage off of slight frame disadvantage from an attack from Aswell to move in. And then by then, the amount of frame advantage has kind of evaporated yep. at that point, right? So then it just kind of becomes, who knows? I mean, the, I think the main thing that's going to be a big difference is the kinds of block punishes that Omega XCN is going to get okay. in some of these spots against hugely disadvantaged and unsafe Aswell moves. Okay. Your Axlow, your Sword AB, all of this kind of stuff. Because Taki, for the most part, gets like really good punishes on small frame disadvantage, your minus 12s and 14s and stuff. But when you go to like minus 20 or something like that, she still gets good ones, but they're executionally difficult. Yep. And I'm wondering, because like the main goal as if you're a Taki blocking an Axlow, is not to do just like a wall rising BB or a 4B, which are like pretty terrible block punishes for something right. so unsafe. Right. You need to do a sidestep into an A6 lethal hit. Yeah. And that is not easy to do. And and, and you know, and when you say in that pace as far as input, <laughs> um, it's also the dichotomy of that you would risk that. And if you don't execute it right, you get uh, the positional advantage that you still want off yeah, of the punish, yeah, yeah. and you got to sacrifice that. And then it's like, of course, you want to kill somebody. So again, it's this. not the most optimal to go for those like mini like wall rising punishes, or like you know when you block those like into minus sixteen, into minus eighteen, and twenties. Um, but sometimes, sometimes it's good to go for a more consistent game than a more optimal game, depending on what you're going into. But we're about to see how he feels dealing with the matchup, and hopefully he can overcome the neutral with those long-range buttons you were talking about. Yeah, I saw the words button check, I think, from Omega XEN. This leads me to believe that you know we're not getting into the game just yet. Um, it's always important to note, just in case you guys are new tournament players out there, whenever you're doing a button check, these guys, these old-school players do this all the time. Omega XEN is going to use this not necessarily as a button check, but as an execution check. 
and you always want to make sure that people who use button checks as execution checks don't get that much time. Yep. So you're going to see him do a whole bunch of A6 lethal hits, and uh, we need to make sure that he's not going to take advantage of it too much and pull a Mewtwo King to be like <laughs> to do a smash kind of thing. <laughs> no, 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 but um, I definitely get to understand by the exception. He's doing it. Yep, he's trying he's to do a couple of them. Yep. Don't let him do it, Joe. Joe, what are you doing? You already practiced that button. He's gonna, guys. Omega XCN is going to do this until he is told to stop. Yep. You can't let him do this. I do this to Omega XCM. I do this to Woes. I do not let them practice this kind of stuff. Very execution-based uh, yeah, players, yeah, yeah. you know, play very similar characters, and, and, and that's a good thing about like Taki and also for Woes to play sets. Ago. You don't want them to get started on that, but that's okay. They're doing you, their thing. You, you and want them to try and feel that out in the tournament match itself, and then hey, maybe you get lucky and uh, something will end up getting screwed up. I think up or you gotta get enough feel for that. that yeah. Was a yeah, 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 for sure. So, but uh, no, I think they're both uh, feeling each other on this part. You know, Omega somebody uh, who I like to call a journeyman inside of the community when it comes to competing in this game. He shows up, plays everything. Somebody that's like, dang, like, oh, you haven't won like a big, big thing yet or like a tournament yet? And it's like, it's surprising, but like you still say that. Yeah, but he's placed in almost a lot of things, you know. Oh, I believe Omega XCN gets top eight at quite literally every tournament everything. that he goes to. Yes. In fact, I would argue that he probably gets top four at everything yeah. that he goes to. Yeah. So, yeah, always a bridesmaid, never the bride when it comes to Omega XCN, which is rather unfortunate, but I appreciate his tenacity. <laughs> See how I wrapped it all the way back around? It this is why I'm together. the one with the beard. Okay, here we go. <laughs> As we're going back to the Northeast Championship, starting out the first round, Hyrule Hero Joe versus Omega XCN. What we got into it. Omega XCN pulls in very closely. He's at the range that he wants to be. Joe has to defend. Yeah, this is going to really be like the, the main. The, this is the spacing where Joe gets to play the game and Omega XCN does not. Now we're up close. It looks like Joe is going towards Spear Hall. Ah, here we go. Right off the bat, first 20 seconds, an A6 lethal hit. This is going to be the tail of the tape, assuming Omega XCN gets everything he wants. Oh, kind of whistle over the media over there and gets whip punished for it. All right, so he sets it back to that mid screen that he wants to be at. Ooh, Sev cancel. Jumps over, gets the free walk back because he was in back turn. I have no idea how this is going to... Oh, he's potentially in ring out trouble at this point. Clashes with the Axel. He gets... Oh, he could have gotten a 3B punish there, but he ends up getting okay. The clash on the Axel was such a big deal. In case you guys don't know, when he drops... When a clash of a weapon art occurs, Axel doesn't have a weapon anymore. And so everything he has is significantly slower, and that can become a big deal. Yeah, so in that case, um, he probably uh, sacrificed a big momentum, but was able to pick it back up a little later. All right, makes him block it. All right, goes with the low. Mega XCN mashing his face off right now. Gets a fantastic threading of the needle, was mashing so much to the point where uh, Joe ended up going for like his nuclear option and got a huge punish out of it too. And now, that's a situational thing with uh, Joe, as I see as a player. He likes to go for that option a lot, but yeah. it looks like he has a good read on it. Uh, but Omega XCN holding it down and blocking it and getting that punish there. Now he's in a position where he still has his meter, but he has to go for a lot of unsafe things. Not the best punish, but he picks yeah. it back up with the uh, grab ender. That's both rounds at this point, where like yeah. both times Joe has done something crazily unsafe, and Omega XCN gets a punish, not necessarily the one that he wanted, but ends up getting the round anyway, and so it ends up being okay. Now this is the first time that we've seen actually Joe with a little bit of momentum in the set. Okay. Oh, but he was able to go in there. Uh, yeah. Preferably, I would have liked to, him to make Omega have to come to them after that uh, Oki situation, but I guess he going to keep the impression. Oh, the oh, jump oh. off of that oh, was immaculate. And he's in the corner now. Now he can play this game as much as he wants to. Soul Charts is going to pop him out. He's forced to have to spend the meter. Omega XCN. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. You have become dead. That such brilliance was a very risky play. Joe looking desperate right now. And ago, really needs again. to figure out how to calm down. I'm not saying it's easy. Because he had to spend bar simply because Omega XCN was in his face at the wall. And then in a few seconds later, he was just in the exact same position. And he was you up against the wall and it sucked. It's ironic because it's called such brilliance, but uh, it wasn't very intelligent use of those. No. The few ones that they were had, um, it's very successful when like you can get them off of them, but both of those were blocked at the time. All right, nice check with AB. Yeah, see, now he's kind of doing what you were talking about, trying to like hang back on some of these pokey positions. That makes a lot more sense in a matchup like this. Because then you get to do all of this stuff, and Omega XCN has to be the one that comes in on you. Yeah, and that's kind of like the struggle with like Ataki, or you're having to figure out how to use like that oppressive like quick button offense, but she doesn't have very safe approaches besides just walking in and blocking. See? Yeah, this is the first time that, again, we, we've seen Joe really gain a certain level of momentum, and it's because of his passivity here. And I, I think that makes a lot more sense. Good nice job. Just, yeah, fantastic. And just hanging out, just like just, just, just keeping away in acts. 
Step back out. <laughs> Walking back, making him whip now. Yeah. Ooh, that didn't figure over. It kind of hit Wonky. Now he's taking risks. Uh, I don't like that. This, this, this is where it sucks for Joe. Now we're in the, we're in front of the, the wall. He doesn't really have three beyond block in the three. Oh my goodness! Okay, hard step. He doesn't have the eye. Okay, now he has weapon. Just a mash into the BA. He gets the BA. Okay. Uh, force has been part again. Every time Joe is up against the wall, it becomes so terrifying for him. Still mashing. Oh my god, the leap over. Okay, that's gonna do a whole bunch. You see how much chip that did on block? Oh man. The, the only reason why that round went the way that it did is because last game. Joe did a such brilliance and it cost him the game. Yep. That's all Joe was thinking about was like, when do I have the opportunity? And Omega XEM was like, I'm going to bet that like I scared you too much. And he was right. Ooh, nice. catches the, the confirmation. Ooh, wait. Oh, Ooh. fancy schmancy. All right, going for a tiki reset right over there. Worked out. Okay. All right, so Ruby. Yep, he's going to go for it again. Oh, no, but he has the wall pressure. Nice interrupt. Okay, yeah. Joe has had enough. He does not want to deal with more wall pressure from Omega XCN right now. And this is what I do like about Joe's play. Uh, historically, when I've watched him in like online tournaments, uh, he's very good at like taking game ones and taking those lessons and adapting it into later games. Yeah, so with yeah. punish did not work with the leap though? It's one of those like, uh, you have five rounds to figure out how to win the next six. Yes. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> sometimes you want to keep it to like, you know, two rounds, but some, you know, sometimes we are five round players. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's gonna kill, that's yeah. gonna kill. That's, that's gonna, I mean, it's that's not gonna, gonna kill, kill. You know what I mean, yeah. That's gonna do a lot. That, that, it's a counter hit Taki That's gonna do He's a in lot. the yellow. He's deep in the yellow. <laughs> see how much that did? <laughs> Ooh, wake up six. Oh, man. Taki Grant. Wow, the two A's have been tech jumped so many times. Oh, man, that was so much. Oh, another mash. Ooh. Wow, these have been such good mashes from Omega XCN. He's been on fire with these. I also think that's the only time we've seen Omega XCN spend meter this whole uh, this whole set so far, which is kind of crazy. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, gets the duck. Not Again, not necessarily the punish he was looking for, but the punish he deserved. Oh, and see, this is the space where, like, he's throwing a lot of those uh, high horries, and in this step where he's trying to backstep, but he's still getting screwed by them. Um, and in a place where he wants to disengage. Okay, soul charge. Yeah, but that's gonna the, get, that wasn't the burst, and yeah, that was actually a pretty bad soul charge. Yeah. So that might actually cause Omega XC in the game. It comes down to this Oki here, and yeah, yeah. tried to jump away two highs. Okay, Joe's even it up, 1-1. Is Omega XCN going to change the stage? I doubt it. The stage is actually doing pretty well for him, and he could get worse <laughs> stages. I apologize if I'm wrong. Okay. Yeah. And for you guys at home, um, probably forget the game, but uh, that last interaction, like how you just emphasized with him being apart from the uh, soul charge uh, burst or the pushback, mm -hmm. is that you kind of sacrifice your positional because you have to recover. All your you know, frames, all your All momentum, your frames. Yeah. So, so Joe was literally able to walk in, was able to get a hit confirmed because it was uh, Omega was forced into a guest situation. Um, and he got all that momentum because of that. Um, as we're going to the final game. Oh, the class oh, did not work over that! He doesn't have a weapon. This Soul Calibur is a great game, everybody. <laughs> It's, it's the fact that like the first hit clash and then the second one just didn't do anything that really put Joe in the position that we see him in now, where he basically has not gotten to play the game. Now he has. Yeah. He'll now he has whatever he wants. Yeah, he'll have the opportunity. Okay, that's the weapon. Jump Leap away. over. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, that could have been a much bigger punish yet again, but still it was decent. He's in a good positional. Uh, it's really good. Dude, oh, Joe, nice duck. Joe is not getting grabbed. Ducking them, breaking them, all kinds of anything but getting grabbed. Nice. He get the wall hit. Okay. I like that timing hit when he backstep. Yeah, he, uh, he hit the mid Hori right over there to keep them from moving, yeah. and then he was able to close out that round over there. Going with the A6. Omega XEN adding a few more layers to his offense. Oh, nice GI. Okay, use that same option again. I guess he was trying to bait out an option uh, to counter that GI scenario. Oh, teleport. <laughs> Joe trying to dance around, trying to make sure that Omega XEN gets as little opportunities as possible. And for the first time so far in this set, Joe is up. Oh, Ooh. he just lost meter. That's a pretty big deal. This is really important for Omega. Wow, he mashed like post GI. Like what a jerk. Oh, oh my god, he hit that. Everybody is desperate as all get out right now. No one knows what's going on. There Such it is. actually works. Omega XEN has some meter. Is he going to spend it? He doesn't That's get the opportunity to. Ooh, I wish that he had spent no meter, but it was just uh, Yeah, he would have got that anyway. He would have got that bar anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, he's going to use it now. Yeah, here we go. All right, get a good okay. punish here. Nice. Knock Into down. force block, Oki. Oh, nice a GI guy so off of that. Spin a Rooney. Okay. No, more mashing. More nice GI again. Is that the timing he's been doing that? 
Joe doesn't give a gosh darn about his guard meter right now. <laughs> it is constantly failing, but ever so slightly still there. This is the round to do it in. If he does yeah. get guard broken, this is the round to do it in. Yeah, Joe wants to get guard broken this round for sure, rather than dealing with it for the rest of the set. But he might also just straight up win it off of a CE, off of something. Oh, oh that's, that's going to do hit. it. Okay. There we are. So here's the benefit of the situation. He still has that guard gauge. Um, if he's able to get into some pressure, uh, make him block some uh, strong attacks that, you know, it's going to do like You'll at least a good 10%, two of those. Like, it's an easy hit confirm off of there. And depending on the position of awareness, he can get a ring out. Yeah, uh, but Joe has out. the meter advantage. Yeah. And that's, honestly, I would argue that's more important than yeah. the guard rush. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, assuming we're not talking about stage positioning. Oh, caught him out of the axle again. He doesn't have, so he has to spend meter because he didn't have a weapon there. Omega oh. XEN having a tough time with these Oki positions. Doesn't have the stage positioning. Doesn't oh. have the meter. Could potentially die to like one and a half more of those. Maybe. Oh, oh, just the, the full big. crouch 3A. Oh my god. Omega XEN really looked like he was on fire. I I'm going to say for the first like 40, 50% of that yeah. game and then Joe slowly but surely just the statistics you, of his damage and being very defensive was able to uh, to eke that one out yeah that's definitely what I noticed for a long from his play Joe's play is that he he's not afraid to sacrifice the first game for data at yeah. any point any time and I think one of the benefits of being a competitive tournament player is when you can use that early step to they probably played plenty of times, you know. Over oh, the years sure. They're not that far away from each other. Right, right, right. New York, but yeah. there's always a sense of, like, understanding uh, the meta of the match. That's why I like to say, like, what, how is my per uh, the person in front of me playing today? And I feel like that was the process he took. And whatever he needed to do to get the job done, he got the job done. Today, so. Looks like we're going to be going through ads this time. So don't you dare go away, because yep. this is how we make sure that we get to, this is how my beard grows. <laughs> this is how I gain power. <laughs> and without that, I mean, why would you want that to go away? It's nice. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> All righty, so we have uh, the Hitbox Arcade Controller. I want you guys to take control of that bad experience, as you see. Uh, we also have uh, Nerd Street's Go For Broke event that's going to be happening December 30th in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's a $10 entry fee and a $10 venue fee as well. Go check out the details at nerdstreet.com. There's also Broad Street Burst. It's going to be happening. It's a weekly meetup every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. It's going to be at Tekken Street Fighter 6 and Guilty Gear Strive. Also at Nerd Street, it looks like we got Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That local John Smash Brothers. That's a good name. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Don't miss it. Local host involved in that as well. Speaking of local hosts, we got the weekly schedule. Oh my God, so many different games. On is that literally every day? Every day Monday, except Thursday. Mega Strikers and Rocket League. <laughs> I love Mega Strikers. Uh, we're going out the FTC First Aid. Got any technical issues? Forgotten equipment? We got you covered. Uh, the supporter from Video Games New York, Brooks, uh, Quanbla, and Hitbox, and also from Video Games New York, they have their indie game store. I see they have a vendor right outside this event. You can check up all their different games. I'm about to check them up and get me a retail retro stock as soon as I can. But also check out their events as well. They got the uh, QR code scan right over there on the scenes. They got list installations, community support, brand activations, you know, all of that. All righty, welcome back, everybody. I am time to do the duel, and this is. Oh, 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 Omega. <laughs> it doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> oh, oh, Omega XTN. In the hell. <laughs> you did say you were going to do that. I did not. Why did But hey, we're back on the mic, so. Oh, yeah, together. Once yeah. Again. We haven't done this, I think, since like Summer Jam. I, I feel like it, yeah. It was Probably my first time first actually met. commentating Soul Calibur 6 Summer Jam. Um, and we're doing that at again, another biggie event. Yeah, another biggie event, 2023. This is NEC. And we're just going to go through the button check right now, but we're going to have some hot Soul Calibur action for you in a second. Uh, you're not going to want to miss this. It's going to be on stage right now. Again, they are going through the button check. Uh, it's going to be Incendiate versus 8-Way Funds. Um, you know, Incendiate, like, you know, I mean, in the Caliber community or even passively follow it at all that I look like I have the same shirt. Uh, Incendiate has been on fire. Uh, just just back-to-back -back, uh, Evo wins. Uh, goes to every major. I think to put uh, that lightly. <laughs> even without all the pun talk, Incendiate fire lightly. But, like, still, like, has been consistently, consistent, aggressively playing the game, 
And I think what's so good about his young genius, and that's what I call it, is that it's not only in Soul Calibur, he's yep. playing a lot of Street Fighter. Yep. He's playing Grand Blue. Like, he's expanding his mind. I think his mind, for as young as he started playing the game now, yep. and he's a very young dude. Um, yeah, may younger than me. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a child. He's been playing has been so great. But 8-way, consummate professional. When you look at, like, Tira, oh. like, extraordinaire, one of the best. Yeah, both players, multiple games. 8-way um, made uh, top 16 in Street Fighter yes. this weekend. So, uh, tremendous. On, uh, to on bottom, bottom, bottom pool. tier, Lily. <laughs> he had to beat his opponent now in the pool. He's That's like... He's gonna um, spoil him now. He's gonna set up the losers in this game. That's what he hopes to do. Yeah. So you know, these the, these two are not you know one tricks. They're 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 hardened FGC veterans, um, which is funny to say because Incendiate is like five years old. But <laughs> uh, definitely the favorite to win this tournament and starting off strong. He's uh, a bit older than that. He's twelve. <laughs> he's twelve, thirteen. All right, slides in there. Right. All right, but he's uh, looking at a positional uh, advantage, making him whiff. Oh, that was really good. I like the uh, cancel. Now he's got to fight from the outside, and um, this is the best range for Insignia to play at because now he can choose to like backstep and get a whiff punish. But not even the low uh, kick is gonna do that. Send him out of there for good troubles. Yeah, and this this must this feels like it could be frustrating for the way Eight Way One runs wants to play this game. You know, he, he wants to play mid range. He wants to play control. He likes to use his movement, uh, but so does Geralt. And even though Tira arguably you know has has, has better damage. Uh, is has uh, you know better tools. Uh, just keeping at a fundamental level with Geralt uh, just frees up your mental stack so much, and that allows Insignia to be so successful at so many majors, and just you know keeping a controlled playstyle. Uh, and it's gonna be tough for eight way funds uh, unless he can find a way into you know go into gloomy tier consistently or uh, or make use of his meter uh, because you know Insignia moves in a way where it's, it's gonna be hard to to you know get the move counters on him to, to punish him for his movement. All right, well he just get a grab over there. It doesn't require any movement, but tech ball. Ooh, wow! Oh, we're just going for the mix ups. Little, yeah. Okay, nice interrupt it. right over there. GI sense went straight oh. into him. Okay. Yeah, went straight to an anti GI bait, but yep. Insignia will not fight. In eight way funds now in gloomy Tira, so uh, it's a substantial power up. But Cindy is trying to poke his way out of the situation, but he manages to even up the light with just pure pokes, and that's the power of Geralt just being able to just contain your opponent at long range with these safe pokes, and you just fluster your opponent. But eight way funds still has a chance. He's in soul charge. It's so close. Tries to get a ten frame art in, but eight way funds not today. Good comeback from 8-Way Funds. We are on the board. Did you see those last two, like, AA counter hit confirms, like, especially with the last string. You saw he interrupted. Yeah. Uh, Incendiate wanted to do something, but then he got interrupted. Oh, okay, fell for that last bit of the string. Oh, no duck there. Yeah, no duck. Okay, interrupt. Okay, 8-Way Funds. He looks like he's finding his rhythm, but that's a good side step from Incendiate to to kind of kind of interrupt that rhythm. With duck, but no punish there. It's, it's tricky mix-up from the side of Gare. But that's a 12-frame hit, but... Going into Gloomy. That's Coda, in fact. So we're going to have access to the Soul Charge moves for free. But ah! Insidious not even going to give him a chance as he takes game one. What a lethal hit from you the Witcher said he's himself. He's going to have access as soon as he got hit with that low. <laughs> access denied, says Insidious. <laughs> he's like, nah, bro. It's like, that. oh, that's uh, that's cool. That, that's cute. You want your lethal hits? Bam, here's a lethal hit. Uh, he's like, from hey, I'm powered up. Oh, I lost the game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the tricky part of it because you have to do a lot of uh, you have to play into our style of RNG and like the moves and like this you know the percentage there's, like changes. Um, there's in which so once you get that, it's a very good mode to have. But is it like too late? Yeah, is it a little too little too late? Like, and there's so much to keep track of. You know, it's 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 the it's the stance changes and shaking up the move sets. So, uh, so that's why 100 percent like this character switch because then you get to kind of free up your mental stack. It's a yeah. uh, you know, Grow is a lot more uh, fundamentals-based, solid character. Yeah. You don't have a whole lot of mechanics to to you know keep track of or to worry about, uh, and you can establish like a like a simple five-move Grow and be really competitive uh, in this game. So, and then you have access to like 50/50s, uh, especially in Soul Charge. So, I do like the switch. It's just kind of playing fire with fire. You want to play you know fundamentals-based. Uh, I can do the same thing, but with 50/50s. So. He's that's gonna challenge Insidia on in his own game. That's uh, no, you're right. But like the challenging thing about like doing a 50/50 and aggressive 50/50 game that Grow can do is that Geralt is one of the characters that has very good defensive tools. Not just saying so caliber defensive tools as he's getting hit in this wall combo, but like very good like self mechanic tools. Um, it's Gurdon. Um, there's yep. like the skip step that he could do to just move out of the way and get sure, it. Just, just, the, just stuff that can like slow down the aggression of Grow. Yes. Grow is an offensive character, right? really aggressive. But, but like you said, Carol has those defensive down. options. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's not even a, a situation right now. I think actually Eightway is struggling defensively 
on uh, where to, you know, keep the certain buttons. Okay, counter hit launcher. All right, gets the Oki. Oh, it's a little related on that auto GI. Oh, that's going to go into the wall. <laughs> yeah, you, you touched on something. Like, Geralt, you know, we, we know Geralt is, like, a, a great basics kind of character, yes. you know? But, you know, he's got some tricks. Uh, the, the shield, you know, there, there's no one-up answer to it. Like, uh, you know, you can... You can deal with two out of three options, maybe, but then there's that third option uh, that Incendiate is not going to be afraid to do it. So he's, he's got tricks, but speaking of tricks, here comes a wall combo. Not sure about the scaling, but we're going to okay, do a now reset. We're into the mix. Ooh, but he sidesteps that. Let's get away from it. He's so lucky. Yeah, just get out of the corner. And I know you've been noticing as far as the games have been going, like, because of the way that the stage is. Oh, no, he needed that. He needed that. He needed that. He baited okay. the vertical nice. with the sidestep. And that's exactly what you need to stay on the board. Eight way funds. You still got meter. Uh, Grow is a little bit of a meter battery, so not too worried about it. But still, he's got two rounds to cover. Alrighty. I was just what I was saying earlier. A, a lot in the earlier games, as he gets that interrupt counter hit, lethal hit, uh, was that a lot of the confirms and senior was getting in the first two rounds was based off of counter hit wall combos that he could get, you know. And those did like a significant amount of damage, up to like 70, like 80. Sure. Um, but if you play a certain way, you play a little bit patient, then you can kind of kind of power down uh, the strength of these counter hit fishes. Uh, but we're going to close it, it out with That's a command it. throw, yeah. Incendiate <laughs> looking as good as ever. Sending anyway funds to the loser bracket, and good friends, yeah. so so no no bad blood here. Of course, yeah. Thoroughly talk about the game, what he would try to do. Must have had it down. Very, very like, nice, good players, but like outside of, you know, the game, very nice guys in general. Eight way, he, he still owes me a game in a uh, killer instinct. He says he's <laughs> rash. He's like, oh wow, they didn't nerf the toad. He's like, hey man, they they didn't they didn't nerf him. I mean, they nerfed him. But okay, like, you know, still he got, still competitive. He, he got a slap on the wrist, you know. I, uh, I thought okay. I did. He, he got a little, you know, like they just hit him, you know. Just, did Kimu get buffs? Oh yeah, Kimu got buffed. You know, she's a, didn't, now didn't, she's like she turned from like a fifteen year old girl to like a seventeen year old girl. She did, got buffed. Didn't she win combo breaker and they buffed him? Man, what? <laughs> good combo breaker. What? I was there. I was in top you, eight. You, you, you uh, were there. I didn't see no Kim Wu win. I was there. Ah, that's good. It's a good time. You but were. You saw me scoop. Yeah, no, but <laughs> hope you're enjoying the matches. This is NEC 2023. Yeah. We are going through Soul Calibur 6. Uh, that the was scoop. the winner's side quarterfinals. Yeah, here's top the scoop eight. right now. We're about to have our next match come up in a second. Uh, we got some uh, people brainchild in this stuff in the back. We just saw um incendiate take out uh or put down to uh the lower bracket. bracket yeah um, eight way funds eight way funds so we're about to see how it's about to be next it seems like we're going to have hyrule hero joe but we're about to see who they're going to be facing up against in just one second um yeah well, um yeah we still got uh nova mage and jj on deck but all right uh so it, 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 just it's played, funneling so it, it's yeah. funneling into the uh the, the semis the, yeah, so. when say, yeah which will be um the upper end of top eight yep so so I, we will actually bubble back to one of the, the winners that we had before Incidiate, and they're going to be facing against Hyrule Hero Joe, uh, who we just saw before, uh, who placed again. Who played you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a great game, either way. Yeah, uh, yeah, very yeah. competitive. Um, and it was a no. funny thing, because I was just saying with uh, JQ, uh, you had the momentum a lot in the first um, portion of the match. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And it seemed like uh, this is a constant habit that I see Joe do, where like he like he he's like a, you know, he's not the first to like go all in. He, like, he kind of wants to see what you do. And yeah, then, like he, he's great at like a meta of the match type of person. Yeah, and uh, and that, that threw me off. Um, you know, I should have kept it to, to the like the safe poking game, but yeah. um, you know, he he didn't allow himself to get a uh, counter hit fished yes. uh, after a while. Yes. Uh, and once I thought I caught on to that, he started busting out the auto GI. So uh, he adjusted really well. But we have a New York Mirror here, uh, Hyrule Hill Joe versus uh, Incendiate. Um, you know, historically, yeah, Incendiate. Pretty much, like if you get down to it, like he 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 beats everyone. Um, and the past year tournaments to uh, has shown that you know he can back it up. Um, so historically, Incendiate will win this, but like you know, Hyrule Hero Joe, like he he he's definitely a sleeper. Uh, he's on a character that no one wants to play against, yeah. and every and everybody knows that. And you know if if you know if we're ever to see an upset, like th this this could be it. I don't, um, okay, you say upset. Um, and, and sure. of course, you know, uh, it's, it's been it, winning a lot, yep. a lot. In relation um, to Insignia, yeah. Um, I will say with Joe, every time, so like every couple got. of tournaments I see him in, yep. it's like every now and again he'll have like a run. Yes. It's a day that yep. he has. <laughs> no, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Like on a tear. Um, yeah, Summer Jam. It, yeah, Summer Jam. Uh, every occasional Wednesday Night Fights, every occasional Madhouse Rumble. Like, he'll just go in. 
Um, yep, yep. So maybe he can channel that. Second place at uh, KIT about yes, uh, two or yes, three yes. years yep. ago. So yep. like, yep. You yeah. I mean, it's, it's against the favorite of the tournament. So uh, uh, I don't know much about Vegas odds, but tough bet to take. But that's a great way to start getting that lethal hit two two B. Uh, pretty much plus on block launcher. Really, really screwed up tool, but it's a good way to kind of establish um, establish some ground against Incendiate. No, it's a great way. Um, and, and apparently having him to that corner towards the wall was helped with those conversions. Um, now he can kind of play with like the life lead a little bit. Ooh, we got hit by that second part of that uh, Rise of Beach ring. I sweeping over, going that horrid low. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's going to be punishable. Still in spear, so this is going to try to play around the auto GI, but yeah. got a hold of his timing there, so Hyrule Joe could not find the, uh, the bait there. Great analysis. I like how we did the uh, sidestep, uh, kind of fidgeted. Kind of made him hesitate. Hey, yeah. can I take my turn back? Nothing's uh, happening. And then he did the 6B trick. That was actually very good. And I wish he had a chance to look for a whip punish there. I thought I saw an opportunity for Joe, but... Uh, Insidious is uh, interesting. He, he's going he's going pretty aggressive. He's he's establishing that, like, you know, he, I think he knows his Hyrule Hero Joe is a little bit uncomfortable on the de uh, defensive side. Uh, and he knows that he's willing to just throw out like auto GI or some defensive options out of nowhere. So Incendiate is keeping it tight, keeping it controlled, and not giving. It, and that's a that's a great. Oh, this is really screwed up for Incendiate. This is going to be really scary. Oh, that's but bust out the auto GI. Incendiate had the patience to wait it out, even in a panic situation. I was panicking for them, but Incendiate stayed cool and was able to bait out that auto GI. Crazy launcher there. Two rounds up. Oh, that back turn move, that gets everybody, man. You know what kind of I've been noticing about Joe's style uh, defensively? You know, once he doesn't feel comfortable, you, you gotta think, like, he goes a lot to that sudden brilliance option. And of course, we just saw the attempted Yurden option from uh, Incendiate, uh, but I kind of feel like you should kind of mix that up when and where, like, you want to do that. Um, oh, well, that worked in that case. <laughs> oh, he um, went for the 50-50, kind of but gets punished by the CE. Like, Hi, we would Joe. That's what I'm talking what I mean, about. Yeah. Like, like, it's kind of like, if you overextend, like, a very good defensive option that can get you a lot of damage and get you a lot of, like, mean and uncomfortable situation, you can, it can kind of be used against you. And I feel like that's a, a slow narrative that I'm seeing, like, a long-term watching his play. Um, very good AGI, but uh, something it's, that you kind of die. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, you, you can you can permanently play around it, but you know that that also it's, it becomes that, stronger. All, it becomes stronger when you reinforce it with two or three other. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And you know, there's that fear of just like, well, I'm playing around the auto GI, but I'm also not doing damage. Uh, right. So I think Hyrule Hill Joe was trying to establish that he's willing to be defensive, so he can cash in on that conditioning. And say, hey, here's an auto GI. You know, this is what you get for being over aggressive. But Incinate knows Hyrule Hill Joe. You know, he's his playstyle. And you know he's not afraid to just go through several seconds of no one doing any damage because Cindy will you know at the end of the day he feels like he'll be in control. Like as long as you keep it neutral and not play into the traps that Hyrule Hero Joe is trying to establish, then Cindy is gonna have a you know an easy time. But oh, oh what a block of the 50-50! Now he has to guess. Oh the jump though! Oh, oh my God the grab! What was that jump? <laughs> I'm gonna say that was a sidestep attempt. Woo. But yeah, when it comes to the, the clutch, like, maybe Joe tries uh, hard to be too clutch at the end of the round because, like... Yeah, that's the observation. Like, that's why I see a whole bunch of such brilliance comes in because it's like, okay, well, he's being hyper-aggressive, he's going to do something. And I feel like a lot of players at that level just let him walk and, you know, just, yeah. I'll let you stand fast. I know what defensively you want. And he's going to get smoked for that. That was such a great... Uh, hit off of that uh, high crush maneuver into the lethal hit. All of his oh, combo. Oh, uh, gets through Kemi for a little bit of damage the on the low. Bat, this is going to hit backwards, right? It's going to be on the wall. Oh he my god, it's yeah, a wall! This. Yeah, that's out! That's out! <laughs> like, can oh, this cinematic man. combo end yet so I can get this low launcher for the reverse ring out? We punish into the lethal hit low. He, he didn't even move. Okay. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, I like this. Like, I think you establish the tricks early. Like you said, like, re kind of reinforce, you know, the, the conditioning oh, that's for the auto GIs. Uh, but I don't like the position he's in now. Okay, that's okay. gonna be pushing back. Kind of range for the grab. Oh, the GI! Yeah. I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan. And that's a constant, like, defensive measure that I, I just see as a player tennis. Sure. It's like, backs against the wall, I'm one hit away, I'm always gonna use it like the god. Like, yeah. I'm always gonna try the, the clutches defensive option. Sometimes you just gotta hold it. Yep, or just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like the need to try to, like, outread, outplay your opponent. Uh, but sometimes you just gotta chill. Yeah. Okay. 
use the soul charge though. Be careful. No. Hella risky, and he blocked it. Such good. I think this is gonna be close to it. Yeah. Oh, a lot oh, of scaling God. though. No, the scaling, yeah. But really, just what is this? Ooh, oh, the whip. The whip. Oh my God. He's gotta guess. Are we gonna three. die for styling? Are we no, gonna die for this? Die. Oh. The one time Hyo Joe tries to be patient yes, near the yes, end round, yes, 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 he yes, eats yes, a ten frame yes, yes, horizontal. Yes, 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 yes. And I don't even think he was in sword. I don't think he has a uh, Punisher for Must that. Must have had a death wish. Uh, he was, um, he was sword, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, he was in sword. Like, I, cause he's the only. He doesn't strength. have to risk it. Yeah. Right, he doesn't have to risk that. Um, and it's unfortunate. So it's it's more of like, you can see the mind game, but like because you're dealing with a player like Insignia, it's like he's already there. He's already like that step ahead where he's like, okay, this is probably where you want to be at the end of the game. I'm going to hold it. And then because like you called out, it was yep. a great way for him to be patient, uh, try to like force some offense because and Cindy did it earlier. Remember, yep. they were standing, he sidestepped, and then he did 6 BB. And later, it was like Joe was trying to do a similar thing where he wanted to like force some type of mistake out of him because he yep. had a lot of life to make up. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it didn't work out in that sense. All he did yeah, was, was like bubble buddy. Is Cindy you know? just uh, staying ahead of uh, Joe at almost every turn? Where it's like, okay, so I pretty much like punish you every time you try to go for the round ending GI. So I want to see if you're going to be patient here. It's like, oh my god, you ran up and sidestepped? Yeah. Hard. <laughs> so it's like, you know, Joe, you know, he made the adaptation, yep. and then Cindy just said one, um, one step ahead with okay. the counter adaptation. So really nicely done, really professional. And Cindy, you know, favorite to win the tournament, moves on into the winner side. Uh, that's actually uh, qualifying for top eight. So that's top eight for Cindy and. Um, no, 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 already, no, no, no they're already, already in top eight. eight. Okay, yep. so, so now, now Hyrule Hero Joe. Uh, he's going to go into uh, loses, loses quarters, you know, so he's got a little bit to go towards. Um, so. We're gonna see how the matchups shake out, but on that other side of uh, Winter Semis, we have Jimbo Nader versus Rivals Nova Mage, man. Are you ready for some <laughs> jank? <laughs> you know what's great about, you know what's interesting about this matchup? Uh, besides, because Jimbo Nader plays a variety of characters, but the ones that he focuses on yep. is gonna be uh, Hamaru, but he also does have a 2B. Yep. And the reason why I mention that is because Nova Mage, I think of, when I think of 2Bs in the game right now, sure. I think of Nova Mage as like the 2B, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how <laughs> yeah, and to to round it out, like it's you're get ready for some jank. Alrighty. It's gonna be great. Oh no, I'm being sucked away. <laughs> <laughs> Omega X again. Uh, it's gonna be playing his matchup in a little bit. We're gonna have a uh, consummate buddy coming back with us. It's gonna be J J J J Cube, as I like to call him. Back on the mic. How you feeling? Oh my God, it was me the whole time. <laughs> and now I'm here. You magically like disintegrated your beard. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then it grew back. Teach me your genetics. I can't do anything. You see, this don't connect. She said, "If your beard don't connect, we don't either." Like that, yeah, that that's pretty rough. It's yeah. not necessarily about genetics. It's about motivation. Motivation. That it's about well into existence. It, it's about strength of character. Ah, uh, okay. I'm reading this book now. It's called Rhodes Character by David Brooks. Um, oh, that's cool. Basically, I, I read the section where it said beard. You must have it, and I'm like, I don't have that. <laughs> Did, were you able to continue with the rest of the book, or was it just locked for Oh, you? Uh, well, literally, the book, it, like, it's like DLC. Mm -hmm. So basically, I couldn't access that form of the cast, which is the rest of the chapter. So it was like, you can't read further. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. But I believe the next match that we're going to have is Jimbo Nader versus Rivals' own Nova Mage. We were just talking about that, and I pointed out to Omega right before you got on, Jimbo, of course, we know him for the Haomaru. There's another character that he does kind of frequent when he's not playing the character, and that is 2B. 2B? Yeah. yeah. So um, it's going to be interesting because Nova Mage is, when I think of 2B players now. 2B specialists, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> yeah. So Let's also not forget, like, uh, he was playing Raphael yeah. in one of the online tournaments yep. that we saw him earlier this week. Yep. I also saw him warming up Raphael earlier before the event started. So that's, you know, another thing as well. That's there. So and and, and if he actually brings it out, you know, I, I unbiased commentary. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be Haomaru yeah. versus 2B. Now, both of these players, well, typically speaking, Nova Mage kind of plays the game as like a one-player game. And Jimbo played the last time that he was on stream as a one-player game. So is he going to be able to do the same stuff when you have a character that has so much offensive pressure and so many strings? I don't know. It's also a matter of... I don't really know how much the backdashing and the good spacing that Haomaru has is really going to come into play against a character with limbs that are this yep. long and, yep. a, and a stance that just immediately gets you in front of the opponent's face. So I really don't know how this is going to pan out. Don't know how this matchup works. 
All right, as we're getting into it, yo, shout outs to the music. <laughs> yeah, they're they're doing the um, what is that like the more the Nether Realm games thing where they just let the uh, the intros go. Yeah, man. Oh, wow, right, gets the whip punish off of that. Nice. That's going to be one of the main things you're probably going to see in a matchup like this a lot, to be uniquely weak to Reversal Edge, especially when you have somebody who's doing a whole bunch of aggressive pressure. Yep. And Jimbo Nader knows this very well. Now, if you're wrong about Reversal Edge a bunch, there's kind of not a lot you can do about it. <laughs> but you are going to have access to a meter, you know, as when you hit it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, look at him. He's already over a bar, took those uh, Reversal Edge hits in there. See, that's kind of the problem is that, frankly speaking, I don't find how Maru's use of meter to be all that impressive. So it's possible that Nova Mage could just invalidate it with their own meter, even if Jimbo is gaining more meter because of all the reversal edges. I don't know. We'll have to see how he uses that in that retrospect. Now, this is like one or two. Wow, why? But hot knife through butter. Whip punish off of the AA string. Wasn't able to block. Hits the CE. Yeah, this is all Nova Mage so far. We're going to see if Jimbo deals with this media attack correctly. Ooh, 6-6-A six, six, into the lethal hit is going to get Nova Mage his second round. So uh, Jimbo needs to really pick it up. All right, yeah, yeah. Jimbo trying to find some way to establish uh, the neutral. Oh, uh, class, okay. Three for both. Seems like Jimbo is struggling to find ways of dealing with this aggressive pressure so far. Well, he's going to hard knock him down. Oh, GI! That was the longest GI I've ever seen. It. You saw like he immediately tried to run as well, uh, just trying to get away from this terrible stage position because at any point, oh, that's not out because of the specific part of the stage that we were at. Yep. So now I don't know. Either character could potentially get a wall bounce that could greatly change this. It's a wall rising punish. No punish on the 3B. All right, good. Now he's playing at that box step. Knew the string. Yeah, that's where that character in Lyle's is going to come into play. No. Oh, Ooh, it's throw a shame attempt. he didn't okay. get anything out of that soul char or out of that GI. Yeah. Oh, but gets the mix up correct. Okay. Jimbo has a yellow guard gauge. This could potentially be a pretty big deal. 2B's guard damage is like some of the best yeah, in the yeah, roster, so we'll see. But like you said, he's in the countermeasure. He doesn't want to deal with those AGS follow ups, so he goes for the reversal edge. Ooh, goes for the soul charge. I feel like if you're Jimbo, you spend bar back immediately. I don't yeah. know. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. We, yeah, we waited are. a little while, and now we're going to do it. Okay. Oh, Trying to make whipping. those whiffs, but like it's only part of the string, so you don't feel comfortable going for it. Projectile pretty nice against a character like this. I like that. Gets another oh, yeah, one. That's going to scoop him, yep. Oh, right. he tried to uppercut in between and it didn't work. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I like how he didn't continue the string so he didn't get a bass with punish off of that. Oh, ooh, challenging the 2 challenge. Hey, tough. Oh, and he has the spot dodge! I think he's just gonna yeah, I think he's just gonna try to get guard damage here. He could potentially win it off of a correct guard hit, and he had to block that three. Now this is where the guard damage is. Yeah, this is where the guard damage is important. Oh, in the reverse yeah, legend, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, gonna do yeah, it! Yeah. But that's the that situation, right? Um, I don't know what the frames are between the guard break and getting hit with that GI, but in that situation, I guess he just did not want to block that scenario because if he would have went for a regular punish, he would have been knocked down and then forced yeah. in order to take a, a heavy hit that would have forced him to guard break. But he risked a reversal edge and got smoked by the read with the guard break. The yeah, even though the guard crush hit. didn't actually come, it right. didn't actually occur, yeah. it was the threat that created yes. the entirety yes, yes, of the yes. last round. It's very similar to when uh, we saw a stream match not that long ago at the, at the beginning of the tournament with Zoss doing 6BB yes. over and over again against Omen, who was on the ground. And it's just basically a 100% checkmate yep. scenario yep. in regards yep. to that. Because the attempt was, OK, I'll just hold it because I don't get the guard break. But it's like you can't get up because it's going to happen. Yeah. You're going to get hit, and the, the only thing I guess you could hope for is that maybe he drops the kill confirm out of there, but again, in that similar situation, yeah, because the GI, what, you get hit by the combo instead of the reversal edge, and then you're in a knockdown situation, hey, guess again. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, it is an endless, especially with 2B, is an endless spiral of, uh, of unyielding mix-ups. That's one, honestly one of the weaker parts of Halmar is the fact that like when he gets pressure kind of like this, that's kind of it. Yeah. It do, it, it, he's not a particularly sticky character. He gets like individual hits that can go into relatively okay okay, but that's kind of all, all that it entails. Now Jimbo was requesting a change in uh, stage. This is not that much different than the stage we had before. Nova Mage going for that reverse ring out uh, possibility just with that burst. So something that Jimbo really has to make sure he's uh, keeping clear of is Nova Mage's ability to reverse ring out. Oh, wow, I like that. Counter and interrupt. Oh, wow. It's there, gets the confirm. All right, what's he going to go for? Soul attack. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Catches the 2A. Clean 80. Okay, post GI. 
Ah, I kind of wish we were getting some of the more out of like these GI Wisps. Jimbo only hey, oh, okay. That was an air hit, heavy slash. A plus B, not so much. Oh, is that it? No. If he had just a little bit more soul charge, he would have been able to kill. But it looks like he's going to kill off of the tech trap anyway. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, and he learned from last time in that GI setup. He went for the break attack again, just decided to sidestep off there. Um, and that's something that like dictates a long-term meta of like using like that GI. Now, if you get hit with like a level two or a level one, where you don't get that much frame advantage or punishment. Oh my god, Catching the GI with the 4 b pretty good. He's got a lot of meter too. I wonder if he's going to try to use it to try and seal out this round. He did also just glow red. That means he has the 2 3 6 lethal hit to eat this. So that we might see some swag potential from Jimbo later on in the game. Oh wow, he's got Y. Oh, that's not going to ring out just yet, but it's a good amount of damage. He's still nope. in Soul Charge though. Ooh, that's a swift, yep. Yeah, he really went for like the heavy catch roll situation. Turn this around. Hey, hey, sometimes you gotta, you just gotta know, or you just gotta be confident in that regard. Oh, he held it! Oh, no. Very risky, because, you know, he could have held it. Yeah, who knows when he would have ended yep. the string, yeah. Yep. Trying to go for that guard damage slash for first ring up position. The 4-4-A, the four, four not enough to get away from the huge limb there. All right, you're up with the 2-A. Put some over with the uh, mid. Ah, see, that's what I was talking about. He's trying to no, that's a reverse ring out. He's dead, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, but two bars to one. We still have, we've angered the beast. We still have quite a lot of damage in the rage super that might come up later. We'll see. Ooh, the clash with the guaranteed hit. That was really good. Oh. All right, one punish. Knock down. Okay, use yeah. that one to get off him. Absolutely. All right, reset to neutral. Yeah, you always want to make sure that you don't have two bars. <laughs> oh, oh, he faded it, it yeah. out. But no, but... Okay. He still has that one bar. Jimbo's not going to want to use oh, his that's other... That. No, oh, that's that. No, he didn't get the follow-up. combo yet. He doesn't want to use his other bar yet until he gets into yellow life. Yeah. Okay, he gets the punish. Yeah. Jimbo with the smart stuff. Yeah, he really wanted to use that eat this lethal hit. And uh, no missions did not give him the opportunity. So okay, yeah, that was very scrappy. That was very that was very back and forth and brutal. So I really don't know how the next game is gonna go. What adaptations either player could really pull out here? I honestly don't know. You know, if you look at the look on the both of their faces, um, you would think Nova Mage would be scary, but uh, Jim Donator is not showing it. He's got a great, great, great poker face right now, but like. Just as much as Jimbo Nader was able to keep that pressure on in that last second, he got that damaging whip punish off of there because he whipped all of those uh, quarries. The same kind of, I think, wherewithal and like pressure, like Jimbo's got to be thinking in his head when it comes to no bait age in his offense and yeah. positional awareness with the reverse launcher ring out that he did attempt in the previous game, <laughs> but in that, the first game, but in the second game, he was able to hit it off. But as we're going into it now, looks like we ended up, no mage wanted to change the stage. I don't know what he wanted other than probably something like this. I get the impression that this is what he wanted, and Jimbo would have wanted a stage that was much larger. So we'll see. Man, Jimbo just challenging in every possible scenario so far. All right, that's going to whiff. Yeah. Oh, we're in the ring up potential. Does not continue with the 2-2-A string. Nova Mage respecting Jimbo's anti-2-B. Everybody not getting their grab so far. Ooh, Does not respect the, the last thing. hit. What did he, did he do? The thing. I would, hey, I would have been caught on counter hit because of that, too. I, I wonder if he tried to sidestep. I honestly don't know. No, I just think he tried to take a turn back. Oh, Ooh. takes him out of the air. Nice he gets conversion. a full yes, air yes, combo? Yes. That's so yes. cool. I didn't know that. One bar for each player. Jimbo does not want to go over there for threat of the reverse ring out. Immediately yeah. reverse legends. Again, this is the weakness that 2B has with a lot of her AGS pressure. So we can expect that kind of thing a lot. There's no way in hell he wanted a 3B. That would have been crazy. All right. Goes yeah. and interrupted off the reset. Is he going to try to use fireballs again? He's going to hit. Goes for the full string. Not the full string. Man, Nova Mage is hesitant right now. So unlike him. Oh, the train! Ooh. Yeah, you're not going to get a punish there. Nice duck, and that's going to be into 1K? the mix. Yeah. Yep. That 1K has worked every single time. I wonder if Nova Mage is going to realize it. Very good, like, low-risk assessment. Yeah. Block punish is pretty decent, but, you know, not enough to, like, not be conditioned away from it. So, Ooh, okay. not respecting the string again. Nova Mage getting killed out here for not respecting. So much of this has been about respecting slash disrespecting strings, I swear. All right, and he's into his last uh, potential use of bar with Soul Charge. Nice all right. Oh, that's not going to get it. The ring on. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it, though. Yep. Yeah, so bar for bar, Nova Mage's forward ring outs.
on top of the reverse ring. I was yep. really kind of being the, the dictator of like the major threat of this set so far. Gets a huge nice three B punish. Off of the whips. Oh man, Ooh, that was, was good one off the throw. He, he was doing so many layers of offense there. And he, like, Flash. Just All right, who's gonna win this second segment of it? Ooh, just Nobody. decides to go for the block. Okay, the guard gate just too well, but it's not gonna matter here. Nice interrupt. But he has the meter. Nova Mage spending so much meter aggressively. So many soul charges. Getting that yellow guard gauge too. If this goes to the last round, Nova Mage is gonna be kind of like in the lead. Okay. Goes for the full string. A oh, good reverse, interrupt, yes. yeah. Wonder how much it's clear that Nova Mage is going for that guard crush, but he can't he can't get away from this round. Doesn't get oh, a punish, and this reverse switch gonna is yeah. gonna do it! <laughs> Successful for Jimbo doing so many REs. Yeah. You can tell. This is one of the nice things about like Late stage Soul Calibur is that like when characters have particular weaknesses, um, people who play those characters harp on those weaknesses yep. so heavily yep. they just stop. It's, it's like when you're like in the middle of a like a, an actual fight and like one of them just starts limping. So you just put all your body, <laughs> body weight into hitting on that, that yep. angle over and over again. I wouldn't know from experience. Nobody quote me on any <laughs> of that kind of stuff. No, we no, made, no, it's we like, made reference to me being a literal killer earlier in uh, in the commentary, so I feel like I've got like some sort of dark persona going on right now. <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't believe that. And I you wouldn't, know, I wouldn't want that. I'm, every I'm time trying to get away from that. No, every time you see me in the Twitch chat, you be like my rival. Yeah, my adversary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In case you guys didn't know, we uh, we're gonna have a duel. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, it's you. One could argue that it's time for that to happen. I don't want to say the whole thing because it's not my name. But uh, yeah, we're probably going to have it in somewhere in between ads. <laughs> and uh, all of the uh, all of the staff, just like every other time we've done this, yeah. are they're probably all going to line up in a row and they will say practically in unison, I understand. And then they'll all leave. Yep. That's I won exactly the last one. That's why I'm the one with the beard. Yep. And that's how I uh, that's how I assumed my power. I have the curse of the no facial yeah. hair. That's why. It's the weight of the loss. Guys, everyone shut up. <laughs> I just found out. <laughs> I just found out what the next match is going to be. <laughs> it's winner's finals, guys. We're already here. Think of all the people who said we were never going to get here. Now we get to laugh in their faces because it's incendiary ha -ha. versus Jimbo. We're going to have to say ha ha just like that <laughs> over and over again. And it's incendiary versus Jimbo. Now these guys... I don't know of a time that they played against each other offline, but they played against each other online, traditional online, and in Parsec tons of times. Wednesday Night Fights, Mighty Mooks, Deus Ex Kylo, NY Caliber, others. <laughs> but that's a lot. I said a lot. But they play against each other constantly. I'm going to guess, without going through the archives and knowing the results, mm -hmm. it's pretty 50-50. It's pretty, at at best right now, it's something along the lines of like 60-40 incendiate. This is one of those where, of course, we, we sing to like Insignia's praises and we talk about like the people who are consistently grinding and like playing the game and everything like that. Uh, but when you look at this current era of like competitors, you know, if you go to like a Wednesday night fights, like you'll see like an incendiate, you'll see like a Zephyr guy. Yeah. Like whenever he shows up and plays, like he's on his hair. Uh, for a little bit, there was like a toothpaste, like he would go sure, in and yeah, he'll show up from time to time. Uh, yeah. But another name. Especially when it comes to these brackets, whenever they go online, it was like, oh, yeah, I can see them winning. It's Jimbo Absolutely. Um, especially lately. Yeah. Uh, the last time I saw them in person was at uh, Beast of the East. It was a okay. small East of the East bracket. Uh, the, and Boom was there. Boom was in the bracket and everything. They played, and uh, I believe Can Ark was there, too, the Kill It player. Okay, uh, sure. And, yeah, those are so a couple of names. Uh, and and Jimbo Nader just went in. Yeah. You know, he, 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 Sometimes he just gets into that momentum and everything. It's, and it's pretty so incredible. And it's so hard because... One of the names I just who are playing today that I just mentioned, like they all have like that mode where they're in. But what happens when like a genius meets a scholar? Yeah, you know, <laughs> the, wicked it, academia. It's very happens. similar to like the unstoppable wicked force academia. versus it's immovable object, object kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> or like what's a what's a mob to a king? There king it is. To a god, <laughs> god to a okay, and this is something that I was very curious to find out is what the character selection was going to be. They have played so many matchups Match before. Two yep. B is typically a character that Jimbo will play against other people. Does not particularly play it against Incendiate. Traditionally, because Incendia does pseudo have a 2B himself. Um, the last time they played was at Wednesday Night Fights earlier this week. And what Jimbo decided to do was play Raphael. The matchup was Raph versus Ivy. 
right. and it wasn't successful. Jimbo did not win, but it was close in a very unusual way because it was a lot of lame game playing. It was clear that uh, Jimbo was trying to do a lot of reverse ledges on reactions, a lot of quick parades on reactions. Yes. Is that going to happen later on in Winner's Finals if the Haomaru tends to fail? Is he happy with a stage like this? Only time is going to be able to tell. I think he should be happy with a stage like this with the type of character that he's going up against. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing that I think is kind of underrated that a lot of people don't talk about is that, yes, when it comes to Haomaru movement, the back dash is incredible. His forward dash is actually tied for the fastest in the game. Yep. So th that's also important information to have. So for a stage like this, it can be real rough cookies for Ivy. Ooh, try to get it. You're gonna have to have a lot of things like that. Like how the, uh, Ivy's gonna have to like change her position by a lot of back dashing, trying to whip punish with like a lot of longer range, the middle like type of normals. Um, kind of has to assert herself in like certain spots, but it's doing a decent job. It's in it is at the moment. Okay. Ooh, tried to get the step back. Didn't actually get the two A. He was hoping for, but Jimbo ends up closing the round in pretty solid fashion. All right, not going to be confused, folks. Uh, the Ivy player is going to be Deos' Incendiate yes. at the moment. All right, keeping the positional awareness from, like, mid-screen. All right, Jimbo not overcommitting from either player. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be what we tried so hard to get. Just in case you guys know, especially due to the fact that this is winner's finals, expect that at least at some point we are going to see the game slow down kind of a lot. Because both of these players are very uh, comfortable playing defensively. They play defense-oriented characters, and uh, that's kind of the way that they would like to play. Now it looks like Incendiate is irritated. And when Incendiate gets irritated, he gets very handsy with his grabs. So we'll see if that continues to happen. Hey, he's about to summon some suffering on everybody. Okay. Gets the hit confirmed. A meter for both. I doubt... Oh, I was about to say I doubt it's going to come up pretty soon, but I guess I was wrong. Oh! That's the, that's the revenge arm. Oh my god, he get it again! He Woo! just got green, he just got a lethal hit too. So the first one was off of the revenge armor, and then the second one was off of the high crush into yeah. the lethal hit type of damage. It was actually very good. Ooh, the 2 that's not just enough. Okay, I don't think he glowed red yet, so he doesn't have the 2 through 6 speed, but that was literally both players spent a bar, one of them got to use it. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay, that's went huge. fishing. Look at all that meter that I found a Japanese oh. man, okay. So many times Jimbo's waking up and doing situations in like to like spot dodge in certain areas, trying to go for these auto GIs and stuff. Notice they haven't been successful yet. I wonder if he's gonna keep going with it though. Okay, since J8 does not reach from Ooh. there, but yep. Wow, that punish. is very disappointing damage. <laughs> but like you said, he's very basic. He's gonna get you like those one or two hits and then he has to play the game again. If Jimbo can get Incendi- I was about to say, if Jimbo was able to get Incendi to spend a bar on that round, that frankly would have been the win. Yeah. But okay, two bars to two bars. I would argue that Incendi is in the lead here. I think Ivy with two bars is scarier. But you still have that Rage Soul Charge. So who knows when that's going to come about. Quake. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Quake is huge. Yeah. Oh, backdash into man. it. And he was setting up for that for uh, the couple of long range moves as uh, he was trying to whiff and walk backwards to kind of get it. Yeah. I would oh, like to see him do that no, again. It's Ooh, not enough. That, that is actually really? very important. Yeah, it's so important for him to go. Back what? turn? <laughs> Rude, unfair, <laughs> off the stage. In, you know if you take the letters in Incendia and you switch them around, you actually get, I am a cheater? <laughs> That's actually true. Oh, he's a cheater? Oh, oh no. I wish he was getting these lethal hits off of these duck grabs, but he's had such a lack of success. Oh, okay, gonna but he's going to get up and press Soul Charge. Incendiate has to be right about this mix. Are we not going to... Okay, yeah, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. That was very risky for him to defend like that, but he didn't want to get red. Oh, oh my goodness! That's not it just yet. That's not it! The oh, my goodness! Oh, he tried... He doesn't do the rest of the ring. And backdash 2A seals it. Oh, man. What that was, was that? That was insane. <laughs> Incendiate <laughs> pressing up to the heavens because he knows he didn't deserve it. Criminal! Ooh, we! I am going to yell at him later today. <laughs> he is going to get a piece of my mind. So there were two instances where people should have just died. Yeah. And they did. Oh my goodness. I will say it is unfortunate for Jimbo that uh, some of those spots just didn't go as much in his favor as he was hoping for. Right. It is a little bit on him though to not get the kind of wall rising punishes that Halmaru was able to get. There were two or three instances where he got like a 2B combo rather than a lethal hit, and that would have been enough. Kind of missed that full combo conversion yeah. off that 2 8 lethal hit. get that counter hit. Very unfortunate. I also get the punish on the Quake outside yeah. of Soul Charge. It's pretty unsafe. You can also tell that Jimbo 
really trying to There, there we are! That's what, what you were saying for. before. Look at all that chip damage, too. Yes. And just look at this. Like, like, look at how massive the difference was. Gets a good punish there. And now how back. back out. He could, yeah, I was about to say, go for that move again. You see him, like, moving it back. He's not trying to get caught over committing. Try to catch him approaching. He's not going to be blocking that from that answer. So, yeah, oh. yeah. Okay, now. I was about to say, he was already short on life. So Jimbo Nader did have to walk in to try to try to get like a chip situation or something, but he was able to take advantage of that. Nice. There's that the punish. Yeah, there's that wall rising punish. Wow. Ooh. So many ways of not having to deal with the command grabs. Very smart stuff from yep. Jimbo. Tech yep. jumps, tech crouches, hard just read crouches, all kinds of stuff. Gets a good whip punish there. Yeah, recovers in time. That's why he did the 2A to make sure that he wasn't going to get potentially uh, hit by a wall rising. What? Why can't they just kill? Like, wouldn't that have been much more satisfying to everybody? Except for Incendia. You like, know. Like, and now he's got to deal with all this. All right, going for fishing. It's okay. It's okay. Jimbo Nita's going to clean it up, right? Is he's going to clean it up. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Just to run no. up 2K. That's one of the nice things, again, about how Mario is that his run up speed is just so fast. It's yep. so hard to, like, react to that yep. kind of thing. Ooh, nice. the whiff. There it is. There it is. Now so he's actually trying to play around that. Uh, oh, now he's playing around that move, like I said. Yep, now he's playing around that like I thought he would now. That's how you establish it from Ivy Neutral. There oh, you go. Man. Like I said, and now he's bringing it. Here. This is what I thought was going to happen. Reset. He doesn't even have to spend the bar at this point. Jimbo in rage. Oh, well, well, I don't really know what's going to happen okay. here. Okay. God, it's oh, so much work. He has to do. There. Oh, oh. Okay. GI, this is how okay. the first thing starts. Okay. He's just getting little tiny hits, though. Okay, here we go. Gets a huge hit there. Uh, oh, the jump. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, that's that's really right. That would have been really difficult outside of, like, one and a half very yep. lucky heavy slashes. That would have yep. been really tough. Decides to spend Mino right away. Interesting choice. Oh, Ooh, he grabbed him out of that. I'm so glad he didn't put out a button. Yeah. I'm so glad he didn't put out a button. Ooh. Oh, damn. That did almost as much as the command grab. Ooh, oh, nice with punish over there. Needle. He's what? so smart about this. It's incredible. Okay, here it is. Here it is. He has 2 1 4. He, he has 2 1 uh, 2 plus 6 B. He has to eat this lethal hit. I don't know if it's a A. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's going to interrupt that. A string. Oh, he's Ooh, catching he him pressing. Yeah. He's catching him pressing. I don't like that. Roll okay, forward into back. super. He wants still this has round. a little bit. Still has a little bit of soul charge. Oh. Ooh, I, like, I, like the, I like the low block in that range, though. Oh, does he get it? He no. doesn't get it. It was so close. Oh! No. And what happened? All the other times he was ducking. Yeah, I, I think what happened was when I saw Incendia go into that stance, I thought to myself, oh, he's made a mistake because Halmaru was still in Soul Charge and he has the armor off of the Heavy Slash, which, if you think about it, makes it so that the Command Grip was frankly the only possible outcome, the only option that he had in that spot. So I'm kind of surprised that Jimbo didn't see it coming. He just kind of froze. I guess he wasn't expecting the stance situation. But here's the thing. Jimbo Nader also represented a healthy amount of, like, just waiting into duck. Yeah. So it's a very tricky Very surprising. Yeah. Yeah. Not just ducking, but ducking into a lethal. Yes, yeah, yes. That's, that's a real big deal. Catches the GI, not for a whole lot. All right, and it looks the like over yeah. there, off of the uh, run up low. Oh man, Ooh. breaking the CS. Wow. And you can't not do that. getting a punish. <laughs> oh. And Zenia just feeling himself. Yeah, he's interested in just winning off of this, just off of command grabs. Tries to go for the unblockable trap. It basically works. Oh, nice tech. Breaking every CS here. This is the difference between online and offline calibers. <laughs> you can't yes, just yes, CS yes. your way to victory. <laughs> Jimbo still a little bit down with regards to meter, but up around, so has time to make up for it. Guard Crush really hasn't come into play just yet, so it's not really... Ooh. But see, like this that. is the thing. You don't get anything out of that. So it just feels like Jimbo is spending a lot of resources to do these kinds of parries without any kind of reward. I don't know, man. There was another time in the beginning of the set where he hit that, and he got position, but, like, it really didn't get him much in the end. So yeah. yeah, I kind of agree with you. I, just, I wonder if there's more to it that we haven't seen from Jimbo yet. Because otherwise, I just feel like it's a lot of attention to something that's not giving him a lot. But he is getting, like, he's doing such a good job threading the needle on some of these and getting hits like this yes. with these huge whiffs that Ivy has. And that's oh, going to do it. Gonna do no, it's not. Well, no, no, it's, it's going to do it. It's it's gonna it's gonna do it. Do sorry, sorry. <laughs> For some reason, I thought the wall was going to be all weird. But, <laughs> but he realigned himself once again. They yeah. tackled everything. They hit well. Nice check on the up board movement. Okay, we still have a lot of meter. Here, now there here is, he's going to get yeah. something big. That's yeah. the range where like you can do it. Yeah, that's exactly what he's been looking for this whole time. Okay, now uses the bar. 
And Cena is sitting on two. Oh, what? Oh, I was about to say, can afford to He's use gonna try one. Again. Oh, oh he's wait. Off of the low. He gets the tech trap too. That's not going to do it just yet. Oh, man. Sometimes he just knows. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> ah, Jimbo Nader. Oh. Okay, and Cena still has all the meter, but has to and not get affected by reeling due to the fact oh, that, okay, not. he just go green too, so he just got another lethal hit. He doesn't have eat this yet. Oh, oh that's still that. hitting because of how he set that up earlier. Yeah. Just said, I like it. All right, oh, so is he out of the burst? Back. He's out of the burst. Out of the burst. Yeah. Nice. All, right. All right, into an uppercut. Okay. Nice. He did just get eat this. Oh my god, he gets that. Roll. Okay, chip. The difference in this game has all been about meter usage. Incendiate has basically not gotten anything at Oh my god, that does a CE's worth of damage? <laughs> yuck. Yes. Absolute yuck. For the simplicity of how this character plays, he's like, I got a big sword, it has a slash, it's gonna do a brick ton of damage. And then he just does it. Then it's like, oh, yeah, I forgot who you were. Yeah. I forgot. I I <laughs> Ivy has, like, a sword that she created herself. There's this whole thing about the curse of the sword and the, the curse of her family. And she has to deal with all of that, those, those kinds of, like, very much like a and d type character. Yeah. And then how Mara is like, have you ever been punched in the face, like, really hard? Really though? hard. <laughs> He's just a traveling Ronin. Yeah. He's like, hey, man, you want to fight? <laughs> now, unfortunately, so that's Jimbo's first win in the set. And immediately Incendia changed the stage, yes. and uh, Incendia basically got exactly what he did. This is a really good stage yeah. in order for him to play the play style that he wants. Oh, yeah, but not if he so guesses right. These, these ducks have been just insane by Jimbo. Unfortunately, obviously, like actually just breaking CS slash just getting hit by uh, Summon Suffering doesn't really help out if you just like stand block. So you are actually incentivized a lot to duck against yes. Ivy, despite the fact that her actual mid attacks are not that impressive. Oh, oh the GI, does the GI yeah. again. Jimbo's probably very surprised by that. Oh, okay, look at him. He's yeah. actually doing the clash from there, but it whiffed because of uh, the low miss. All right, so he's trying to hop away to make it all weird, to, to, to make the Oki situation uncomfortable. Yep. Gets another heavy slash on top of it, ratcheting up that right. lethal hit yet again. Attempts to do out of there, keeps him in place off the check. Going to take up the round. Goes with the Sempu cancels, try to bait a little bit of movement. Counter hit confirmed. With the Oki going to uh, Kemi backwards. Not getting a punish on these uh, 6 6 A. Similar to Sophie 6 6 A, it is minus 12, so I wonder if uh, Incendia can eventually figure that out. It's a good whiff punish there. And we are playing it, slowing it down. This That's is exactly what, what Incendia what, wants. What minus 12 punish can uh, Ivy get off of that? AA is a perfectly reasonable okay, okay. one. It gives you a, lot, a good amount of frame advantage plus side turn, so it's, 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 it's fine. Okay. Alrighty. Going to disengage. It's okay with dealing with the projectile. Yeah, this stage is go. really yeah. kind of killing all yes, of the potential for is, Jimbo's this momentum. Is, this is the type of stage, like I said, that's going to beat into this style, and especially the way that uh, Cindy is going to want to play it. Ooh, I like the way he did oh, the second part. Yeah. And yeah, that's going to work. Gets all the that. just frames, and that's going to do it. Yeah, for sure. Those are young, that's young man execution right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice yeah, one. Air does get the punch yeah. that time. Man, oh man, there's the sheer amount of slow that we're playing with that. Typically, how Mario in a lot of matchups wants it to be played slow, but a character like this, stage like this, it's just been all incendiate unless we're up close like this. Oh, Ooh. what a read. Huge amount of meter, too. I imagine Incendiate's going to spend bar at the first drop of trouble. That's, a, that's the type of thing you get hit by, and it's like, I don't understand what my opponent's doing. Oh, oh nice duck. duck! Oh, but he definitely understands what Jimbo's doing. Wait a minute, the oh, execution. Oh, man. It's Soul Charge versus Soul Charge right now. He could potentially chip him out with projectiles. He could potentially just try to go for him. Oh. Does not commit to this. Oh, oh that's going to do it. I don't think he wanted that A plus B. That seemed a little bit crazy to me. All right. Does not. Okay, does get a whip punish. I was almost very scared. All right. Goes for the cancel. Sees what he does. Man, Incendiate is just really trying to bait out these potential whip punish opportunities that Jimbo's aiming for. Gets a taunt. I'm sure that was intentional. Nice. Now, I like how he went for the other throw now. Um, he's been consistently going yeah. for one version of the throw. He didn't tech that, and then he changed that up. And he a little small. Michael. Ooh. God, he's getting so many of these good threading the needle of uh, these long-range attacks from Ivy and getting a huge amount of damage. Again, stuff that you don't typically see in online. <laughs> Oh, oh choke it. No, that was supposed that? to be a 2-2 catch. Yeah, that would have killed. Yeah. And now he's going to get a lethal hit. This could potentially be a big deal. It could Ooh, the not. the last frame of that. Yoki. Oh, the now he's able bar. to use the meter. Yeah, for sure. Make the approach a little lots bit harder. Of chip damage. Lots of... No, there's Wait, no what? way. There's That's no what he shot. wanted. There's no there's way. No oh. But what's the punish going to be? It's going to be 6 BB. No it's not shot. dead yet. Oh, 
my god. I don't like this because of the setup. Oh Ooh. my god. I don't like that Jimbo did that. Yeah, I don't like that either. Upset. He was clearly <laughs> upset, and that's why he did it. <laughs> All right, he's going to catch him over there. I was sitting at uh, two meters. There it is. To yeah, one. just from running. <laughs> the amount of sprinting both these characters have to do on a stage like this is crazy. Oh, okay. Just gets a little bit off of that. Dude, yeah, these guys are yeah. nervous right now. Yeah, yeah there's clearly a little bit of spaghetti going on that wasn't happening at the beginning of the Soul set. attack. Okay. Jimbo not going to be spending bar until he gets into yellow light. Now he'll spend bar for sure. Right, there we go. Okay. Right, He's fired up. Hands. Oh, takes him Wall on the backstab movement. Oh, it was the bait to try yeah, and beat out yep. the C. Ah, uh, doesn't get a whip punch there. Does not deal with the grab either. And now all of Jimbo's comeback potential is gone. All right, now he's got to play this uh, fine and honest over there. He's got to, okay. okay. He's got to get the offense. Ooh. Oh, gets the tech crouch under the 2 2 a Very smart. Oh, oh that's going to do it. Not. Okay. Yeah, yeah that the stage was a pretty big killer. But overall, I feel like Jimbo had a few no ambitious parts of his game plan that just didn't come to fruition. Yep. And Incendiate, especially during the last game, just played it cool, calm, and collected. And uh, that was definitely the tail of the tape for that match. It's a, definitely a part where, again, at any player at any level, even at the like the highest level of the game, like you're so behind up, like like not even like life bar wise, but like the mental game wise, as far as like playing your opponent, and you kind of run out of gas if you're behind there, and then you go for like the very risky defensive options, like the GI at the end of it to kind of counteract the type of poking tool. Um, you the know, roll forward into Wall Rising and K was, Rise was, and was K, like, yeah. that clearly showed a level of desperation <laughs> that Incendiary probably picked up on. Yeah. That was pretty scary. The, um, the, the run up into the stall into the immediate CE, trying to anticipate like a button press, um, one of those things. And it's like you're, you got to think your mental fatigue at that point. You're in the bracket, you're getting read a lot on like certain movement options, certain mind games that the opponent is doing as far as hitting you, certain things that you're trying to do where it's like, damn, if I would have just hit that or I would have just punished that a little bit better, then like I wouldn't even be in this position. It's a mental stack that comes into this, especially with fighting games. Um, and, and especially with Ivy. You're yeah. talking about a character that puts up an entire obstacle course of yep. a variety of things that you have to deal with, with the command grabs, with the long range hits. That's one thing that Jimbo did better than most people I've ever seen play this game, is deal with like the long range moves, uh, getting some sort of like uh, having it whiff. Typically, characters don't have the maneuverability to try and deal with that and get a whiff punish, but he was perfect at that sort of thing. So commendable if he ends up uh, playing against Incendiate again. All right. We're going to find out in a little bit after a, an ad break for you guys. They're going to see some ads. Stick around, though. We are in our top eight section. We're going to see a couple of losers matches, and we will bubble back to our grand finals. Don't miss out. We'll be right, right back. Please don't miss out. All righty. So how about you guys take control with the fancy smancy hitbox controller? You can find that out at hitboxarcade.com forward slash NEC23. But also, we got a Nerd Streets Go for Broke event that is on December 30th in Philly, Pennsylvania. It's a $10 entry fee, $10 venue fee. You can find out more details at nerdstreet.com. It's also Broad Street Burst. It's a weekly meetup every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. They got Tech, Street Fighter 6, and Guilty Gears Drive. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, also at Nerd Street, in uh, cooperation with local hosts, that local John Smash Weekly, Tuesday, 6 p.m. And speaking of local host, boy, that's so many different <laughs> different games, different days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I think Thursday is the only one that's not included there. Take a look at all the different, basically the same amount of money for each one, too. All right, we got a FTC First Aid. Any technical issues, forgotten equipment, we got you covered. Uh, they will check anything from arcade sticks, adapters, controllers, any help, you got that. But one of the supporters of that is Video Games New York. That also is a indie game store. They have a vendor right here at NDC. You can find anything for your needs, retro, anything like that. But they also do events as well. Check out that QR code, and they will show a list of it for equipment rentals, brand activations, installations, and also some community support for you guys. It's very good, man. Yeah, they got so much stuff going on. It, it, it's a really comprehensive group that's doing quite a lot of work. Equipment rentals, event packages. All different kinds of stuff. VGNYEvents.com. You'll be able to see all of their services, all of their events, all the different things, all the a lot of.
We're esports now. We have become esports. I am E. I am sports. <laughs> All of them. All of the sports. Name a sport. We're, yep. we're that. That one. Yeah. And he's E. I am. Not to be confused with Big E, the runner of the event. And you're watching NEC. <laughs> 2023. From E and sports. There's it's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to NEC 2023. We are deep into Soul Calibur We're 6. We're so top deep eight. into We're it. We're so deep. We only have like four more. Uh, this is basically top four, right? We, uh, top the, the match that we're going to see now, loser semis, Nova Mage versus Hyrule Hero Joe. Winner of that plays Jimbo, who we saw just a second ago. Top four. And then the winner of that, that's Grand Finals, and that's going to be with Incendiate. Damn, fifth place again? Come on, Kwong. <laughs> <laughs> This is, um, now that I think about it, I think this is like the second time since Amy came out where I did not uh, get top eight at a Soul Calibur. Oh, okay. Yeah. The other time? Oh, please don't change. No, wait, what are they doing? Oh, I don't like this. Why are they doing that? <laughs> they changed the volume oh, of everything? Um, oh, the, my God. Yeah, the headphones are, um, the, the game volume is like pretty low. so. Okay, hopefully it doesn't affect too much, but I'm, now I'm scared that my ears are going <laughs> to just start like <laughs> going yeah, I think crazy. You're fine. Yeah, like when we'll I was see. on stage, I think I was um, I was more sure in the crowd than the headphones, but like I sure, yeah. it. So they're accounted for the fact that the, the volume is pretty low. But getting to the matchup here, so we have uh, probably uh, one of the best, if not the uh, best, active 2B player in the world. The 2B uh, specialist, yeah. Nova Mage, uh, coming from Dominican Republic. Uh, he's going to try to make some noise next week, bonus round. But before that, uh, we're going to get through NEC Top 4, and he's got to go through Hyrule Hero Joe, the hero of New York. Uh, or the villain, because he plays as, as well, well. The most villainous character. <laughs> but I also have to say, uh, Nova Mage, I would argue, is in the advantage in a set like this, because I would pr argue that probably one of the characters that Nova Mage knows the best is Aswell, due to Jack Salian. Yep. And so <laughs> you are talking about a character that does a lot of mid-low, just straight forced mix-ups. So how much is character familiarity going to matter in a situation like that? I don't know. Yep. Not but who knows what can happen? Not to mention, like, being stuck in one of the three weapons. So, you know, you're already, even if you, you know, block something and you're letting the uh, 2B mix-ups get started, uh, you could be really limited in your counterplay depending on uh, what stance uh, you're in. I imagine that he uh, he want to maybe favor sword or even even spear uh, just to establish the threat of the, uh, the auto GI or yeah. a 10 frame uh, A. Um, challenging the mix-ups in Axe, uh, it feels like it's pretty dangerous. Um, I'm, I'm sure Hyrule Hyojo would want to like throw out an Axe low. Uh, just to you know, make a statement. But I'm curious what kind of punishes Nova Mage has. I wonder if there's anything 2B specific that makes Axe that, low like, even scarier. There's also the important note to, to say that Jimbo was the person who knocked Nova Mage into losers, and he did it off of the back of Reverse Ledge. As well as Reverse Ledge is like the worst in the yep. game. So That's can he do the exact same thing? Probably not. Yeah, so I, I'm sure Hyrule Hero Joe is uh, want to stay on the offensive. Easier said than done. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it's play 2B's game or play my game, and... My game it's being definitely just going to well. be like a single player game. Regard, like it, it's going to be like whichever one of them gets the knockdown. Yep, it looks like it's going to be Nova Mage just getting party started. Ooh. But oh, what an interrupt there! Catching it right off the bat. Yeah, Nova Mage just doing like this is just like a feeling out period. Just seeing how comfortable Joe is against Nova Mage's uh, AGS pressure. So far, it doesn't seem all that comfortable Ooh. at all. And here comes the one player game. So yeah. Nova Mage showing early that um, he he's very scared of the Aswell mix-ups. So he can. So Hyrule Hero Joe can keep that as info going forward. Where, you know, getting the knockdown, walking forward in Axlo, so scary. And yep. Nova Mage, very terrified of that mix-up. I do also want to mention these two did play a casual first oh, 10 as well earlier uh, in the event. In a, it just, it just a casual... Oh, no, it's going to be blocked. It's going to be blocked. He didn't want that CE, I don't think. I think he just wanted regular CE. I don't know what happened there, but I do just want to mention they did play a first to ten that Nova Mage ended up winning. So I don't know if that's going to be if information that was gained from that set is going to become a, an important part of this set too. Gets the gets the hit. Oh, and I really Joe is establishing a, a pretty good offense, but now it's Nova Mage's turn. Gets a knockdown, like you said. It's going to be a one-player game. 
how much do you know about the the two B mix ups? But we're just gonna we're gonna slow it down with the soul charge here. Yeah, if you're the one that has the meter, especially if you're as well, there's no reason to actually play the game unless you have to. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, he didn't really gain a lot Ooh. of momentum out of that. Yeah, such brilliance not gonna work there. And now Nova Mage is the one who's potentially gonna have a bar pretty soon. Oh, and little antsy there. So like neither player just wants to deal with the mix ups. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's, it's they're, very... they're they're both playing very offense focused. I'm not surprised. Yep, because uh, if you're forced to be defensive, um, like you said, like as well, like one of the vers versatile edges in the game, uh, to be probably a little bit more flexible when it comes to interrupts and defensive plays. Ooh, what a sidestep! It's a huge punish. Oh my God, and he's in Ooh, soul charge too. And he's not rung out because the stage is huge, but other than that, like it's really huge. Yeah, crane game, and we're just gonna keep it safe, but we're not gonna we're not gonna risk too much with this light lead here. So, to oh. nope. Oh, oh my god, my god. Oh, this is close, this is close. Yeah, he, he had to eat all that damage. He had to eat all that damage to reverse yeah. the stage positioning. And now, can Nova Mage stay just comfortable enough and he is going to get the lethal hit for the round. Okay. Okay, it was um, Nova Mage's advantage for a while, but that ring out uh, danger zone there. Could have turned the tide there, but Nova Mage, you know, he, he, he kept it cool. Are you guessing correctly about the axe? Joe with oh, two bars. Oh, yeah, he's going to decide to spend it immediately. Could potentially build another bar before the end of this game, assuming we actually go to the last round. Ooh, back turn. gets hit by the back turn, B plus K, and he gets a huge dead trap punish, too. Oh, oh that is fantastic stuff. Was 100% looking for it. Joe kind of projecti uh, projecting it a little bit with yes. the first single A, which I don't think was intentional. And then he just decided to continue with the rest of the string, and Nova Mage was 100% prepared yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe was not prepared to have the AA interrupted. Yeah. So he just kind of like went for it, uh, and Nova Mage, you know, brilliantly decided to just like play against it. Okay. I assume. Joe wanted to keep the stage, so he didn't have to worry about ring outs. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I expected. Ooh, oh, just immediately. Right off of that. Ooh, is he trying to go for a sword strategy now? He was doing axe for the most part before. Oh, a little risky on the post GI, but could have been worse. Oh my God, he wins the RE exchange, even though it's no mage's advantage and with the life advantage. That is gonna go with Joe, but now he's gonna block two B mix up. So. This oh, is okay. oh wait, that's gonna hit! Yeah, yeah, that's Great. definitely yeah. gonna hit. It's basically just a straight up whiff punish. It's gonna do a decent amount of damage, and we're so early on in the round that I don't know how how much that's going to affect things. We're also seeing that Joe is not using reverse ledge literally at all. Again, the main yeah. weakness that we saw Jimbo use to try and win out against Nova Mage. Yeah, and that's just um that's just music to Nova Mage's ears. Yeah, like yeah, if you're yeah. not gonna challenge of the mix-ups, then you're, you're you're basically guessing, and the guessing game is going to be in Nova Mage's favor. So you have to, you know, show a willingness to, to challenge it, introduce some kind of hesitation into the aggressive game plan. Um, but yeah, it's 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 good. It's a scary defensive game plan. Yeah, Joe's getting a lot of good stuff on post GI, but other than that, the momentum is basically entirely in Nova Mage's favor, pretty significantly at that. Yeah, very momentum-based matchup. But here comes. A mix-up potential. He backs off. I no, I can I can kind of see it. I guess he felt like a little bit uncomfortable, and now he just lets Nova Mage kind of hang himself on top of things. Yeah, maybe you can get a meter or Ooh, something. Wow, okay. out of weapon three A. I would say that's uh, Joe's best round yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you can keep that up. Yeah, this is something that we've been kind of talking about with Joe is that he's very good at trying to find instances where he's perfectly willing to lose the first game to figure out how to win the next two. He's pretty solid at trying to adapt to those types of situations. And has gotten better as Ooh, time But that's oh. area. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a ringout, isn't it? No, I'm not. It's on mine. Oh, and an important block of the yeah. low. We're going to reset the situation with a sword charge, but re G I, re R I, I should Double say. Double R I's. Okay, R -I that's wars. almost for sure going to do it at this point. Scaling's a little. No, never mind. Yeah. Oh, my God. Not, not, not until the very last few hits, which apparently didn't have any scaling at all. <laughs> but it's important to note Nova Mage has been spending bar like basically every Ooh. round, and Joe has not gotten the same opportunity. I would like an early meter usage for Joe. Yeah, it's tough to say. He might want to try and like save it so that he's not at a disadvantage sure. on the last round. It's very difficult. Still, you know, you're not building meter if you got full meter. So yeah, I can I see it either way, and that's a pretty bad burst because now you're going to have to deal with all this pressure again. Ooh, but finds the counter hit with the AB. Joe is very much oh. in this. Gets an anti-air sword toss, <laughs> yeah. but Nova Mage has a knockdown. That's going to be huge if you're 2B. Joe is fighting back, but the spacing from Nova Mage with the movement, uh, it might just win on the match here, but we have one more meter from Joe. Joe can potentially get this. He's getting air yet hit. another air hit sword throw. Oh, oh to wait, no, wait, no! That's, that's going to be a punish! No, no, he does the wrong punish! 
he's still not out of it. He gets Level a GI. Two GI. Oh, and he sees the movement of the reversal edge and thinks it's time to whiff punish, and that's not going to do it. So, okay. Uh, not close. as decided as I thought it was going to be at the beginning. But now it seems that Joe has been knocked out by Nova Mage in kind of like a super scrappy way, especially at the end. And Nova Mage is going to stay on and deal with his demon, which is Jimbo Nader. If their panic was anything close to my panic, then I can almost forgive the uh, the scramble at the, at the very end. But man, if Joe was able to like, pull that off, you know, he came with so close so many times. Yeah. Like, there were definitely times where it was clear he didn't feel 100% comfortable dealing with AGS pressure. He didn't necessarily feel sure. comfortable with 2B strings and options offensively a lot of times, and as is the case for most people in the country. Sure. And, <laughs> <laughs> and somehow was able to just kind of fight his way out of it. So it wasn't much uh, answering the 2B mix-ups with, with RE. It was uh, with buttons. Uh, GI was GI was, was a big thing, yeah. So... Yeah, it was. I think it was really good he implemented that GI. Uh, I think it was really just like the post-GI game uh, that kind of uh, went against that, Joe. That definitely point. kept up. Uh, that, that, that's what kept Joe in the game, yeah. I think, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. landing the GI was one thing, but then the, the post-GI, um, you know, maybe a sense of discomfort there. I think just the overall thing, especially in that last game, if you think about it, by the end of the first round, Nova Mage had spent a bar and had equal bar to Joe and had Joe in yellow guard gauge. That's a lot of that's advantages. That's off of like one single round. And that's that's hard to come back from just in general. Yeah, that's that's the 2B dream. You know, you got yeah. meter advantage, you're blinking, so you can't even block. It's funny, risk. The, the person who got the most out of Reversal Edge in that set was <laughs> Nova Mage. Because there were two instances where Joe had the possibility for a whip punish, set it up appropriately, and probably what happened is that he saw the movement of a Reversal Edge in his yeah. head thought that means that he has whiffed and then went for something yeah. that just happens to be RE unsafe. So he didn't confirm that it was Reversal Edge specifically that was whiffing. Yeah, and that's just like a so. split to second like, yeah. decision. Like, he just like immediately reacts. Like, okay, that's whiff. Gotta go for it. But, uh, Gotta yeah. Gotta go fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a post-GI game, but here we I go. I assume it's gonna be 2B versus Hal Mario yet again. Jiminator. There's no reason for Jimbo to, uh, to change anything up. But if I'm honest, I have always felt that in situations like this, the person who is in favor would be someone in Nova Mage's situation. Who's uh, coming hot off a win. Hot off a win, but also it's just the fact that, like, they're both good players. Jimbo doesn't need to adapt. Why would he adapt? He won, right? So yeah. it, everything that he wanted to have happen happened yeah. in the last yeah. game. So the ball is in Nova Mage's court to actually make an adaptation. But due to the fact that they only have to win two games, I think that that puts Nova Mage as the favor to, to win the game. I really hope we can like break down those statistics using like AI or something. So like if there's an actual percentage of uh, you know you winning after coming from a yeah, win. watch them like totally wrong. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> watch like everything. Well, the data I'm shows like, Jay. Yeah, exactly. Hope we can break that soon enough. But this is going to be losers' side action. This is actually the winners' finals. So no, this oh, is losers', losers finals. finals. Sorry, yeah. my mistake. They have both lost. Yeah, losers one to the other <laughs> and one to Incendiate. And it's going to be a first to three for the right and privilege to face off against the Cindy in the Grand Finals. So That's right. high stakes here, first to three, uh, very well deserved. So Nova Mage versus Jiminator, let's see some jank, let's see some Soul Calibur action. Let's see some reversal edges. I, that's, that's the thing that I'm yeah, expecting for God's that we're going to see a lot. Reversal oh, is he going to get a huge punish? What no, was it's, a, that? it's a pretty good punish. I thought it was going to be a heavy slash and I got all excited. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy oh, hit. that's a reverse ring out. It just barely clipped him. Oh, man, Jimbo's going to be kicking himself. He what still has statement. plenty of time to, sure. to figure it out, but that just sucks to have to do It's only a first round. Out. Like, like it's so easy to get flustered from yeah. that and then lose the momentum. So Jimmy is solid enough to not let that get to him. But, man, what a way to start for yeah. Nova Mage. Nova Mage respecting Jimbo's anti-2B. Did he just get another ring out? That's a breakable wall. Okay, he okay. didn't. He just got, like, analysis points. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's no wall there. Different story, but yeah, it's a huge punish here. Okay, wake up. Oh Ooh. my god, the wake up reversal edge. You <laughs> want to see reversal edge? There you go, Jay. Yeah, that's like that, that, I, I think that happened a lot in the previous game as well. Both of them hitting each other's GIs pretty heavily, Yeesh. and Nova Mage bouncing back. This is kind of what I'm talking about. You know, with the adaptation that Nova Mage is going to be able to pull out, where Jimbo kind of didn't have to do that in the first place. Yeah, he's just like, okay, this is how I beat Joe. You know, this worked, this worked. Yeah. Maybe Jiminary will go for this, but oh. man, what a sidestep! Nova Mage is on fire right now. Decides to spend the CE. I'm actually kind of surprised, but at the very least, this is going to force Jimbo into feeling like he has to spend his meter, which is something he definitely doesn't want to do on such a heavy back foot. Yeah, it feels bad to use. Oh, but he's wow. Do it. 
Oh, oh no! no. That was supposed to be something else, I guess? I, that's no, that, the that, second I, time Jimbo has had that CE. Arguably the worst CE in the game, by the way. That's supposed to be a natural combo, so oh, I don't know, what the, okay, I don't know yeah. what the timing is for that is like, but... He won... Oh, I know exactly what he wanted. He wanted a 6-6-B into CE, and said he got a 2-B in uh, CE, which okay. doesn't work. Okay, that's in, what happened. In, uh, in, in confirmed off the wrong move. Yeah, 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 yeah. But still, he can still take this away, and I, I think this is really important for the mental here. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, don't that was a very like funny that. way of ending the round. Just an infinite amount of 6 6 BK, but not finishing the string. Yeah, it's a good duck. You can tell Jimbo knows what's going on. Executing support program. Ooh, going right into the solo charge here. Yeah. Nomei's just. He's very liberal with the meter. And yeah. I, I think for the he most part. He builds so much of it, too. Yeah. <gasps> everybody just gets away from everybody? That's crazy. How not a that? whole lot of damage just yet. Oh, that was oh, a that was damage. chunk of damage with the wake up hit there. Reversal edge on the side of Jiminator. Gets oh it. my God, Nova Mage gets the side step. It was Jiminator's gets advantage. The gets the duck. That's a knockdown, but going gets for another right good duck. Jimbo dancing around this 2B pressure. Space control. Now he has to worry. He has to worry about a potential reverse ring out. Doesn't want the same thing to happen. He's playing tight. Yeah, yeah he's Jimbo. playing tight and conservative right now. But eventually, he's going to have to start doing something. Oh, man. Nova Mage is just using the threat of this reversing, uh, with this reverse ring out to potentially catch it. Okay, 6-6-B six, six is going to catch him Still, out of the air. Very I, scary stuff and a huge amount of guard damage. I imagine it'll be frustrating for you know a 2B player like Nova Mage. Just like, why are you still blocking? <laughs> yeah. I can threaten you with the low. And Jiminator just staying solid, staying calm. Okay, bar for bar. This means that Jimbo isn't going to have a Rage Soul Charge. That's a pretty big deal. Oh, wow, the bullets actually just get rid of the, the fireballs? That oh kind of sucks. <laughs> <gasps> it's okay, that's a pretty what big hit. Said. But he has the bar. He has the bar and the guard crush. I just don't guard know if crush. Jimbo's going to be able to make this Oh, no punish there. He could have just got a little bit yeah. of damage by going for the guard break instead. This could be huge. It's he has the meter. Damage. But he also has the meter. That's the thing is that if Jimbo tries to make a comeback here, he's going to have to try and make it through all of this obstacle course. Just don't oh, my God. Okay. He, he has the, the stage positioning. Oh, he gets a good block. Guard break. Gets Level a GI. Two GI. Level two GI. GI. And that's the grab to do it. Oh, man. Nova Mage doing a very good job keeping Jimbo from being able to mount his comeback. And guess the first game. Yeah, the GI God, that was, was one game. That felt like eight games. The I GI. That, no, this is this is intense. The GI was risky, and then he pulled it off, and he didn't want to extend the risk. That would be an example of overextending. You know, the the, the match was not over, and I like that he, he just stu he, he just staggered. He, he, he stuttered. He, he wasn't doing any risk. He kept the life advantage. That was just really, really smart, intelligent play from Nova Mage at the last moment. Now we have some significantly more dancing around. <laughs> 6B, 6B. Respect the frame advantage. Yeah. Yeah, plus eight on that. It's pretty extreme. Plus eight, huh? Yeah, <laughs> six, six, six B counter it, yeah. Watch, I'm totally wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I like that. It's that. another good duck. Nobody deals with that six A string anywhere near as well as Jimbo does. Dancing around gets the punish, not just it yet. Okay, Jimbo yeah. always needs to get just like a little bit of extra help. Yeah, and I, I like the game plan. Like he, he he's definitely not afraid of stepping two B. And Ooh. I guess there's not a lot to be afraid when it comes to step killers from 2B. I'm sure she has them, but... Jim They're Nader, all like the strings. They're sure. all like the pseudo-unsafe strings. Oh, man. Ch block that just in time so he didn't get reverse rung out. Sheesh. Okay, more reverse ledge. R.I. totally fine by Jimbo's standards and yeah. decides to spin bar himself. Yeah, no one's taking any damage, so if you're in a 2B mix, that's okay. <laughs> nice but. full air conversion, by the way, for Half-Life. Yeah, we're playing anime games here. Nice air combo, it's going to be minus 8. Ooh, oh my god, you're not damage. allowed to take your turn against Nova Ooh, Mage. the uppercut! Still has a little bit of time on this. Yeah, gets another hit. Momentum. One momentum. heavy slash could potentially do it. Gets the 3B as a dead trap. Oh, missed the wake up, but rebounds really nicely. Jiminator with the life lead. Nova Mage threatening a reverse. In play. He goes in with HDS? Yes, yeah, Raw? specifically to get the bar. I think that was the, entirely the reason why he did all of that. Oh, gets the punish. punish. It's not enough. And he, need, he needed one extra hit, and he got it. No Mage bet it all on there. And yeah. Good block from Jimbinator. But he got a lot of guard damage, and that's a big deal for 2B. The hop forward into a regular grab. <laughs> Wacky. Uh, oh, that gainer, heals like, the guard damage, doesn't it? Oh. I think it that, does. that feels significant. It's yeah. Right. No reversal. Oh my edges. god. I'm we're just. Surprised. We're very oh. happy blocking. Oh, that's going to be massive punish here. Yeah, the 6B. 16. Uh, I guess that, he that, that's his best 16, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, man, so many of these times Nova Mage is not going for the rest of the string, respecting the fact that Jimbo knows that they're highs. So those two punches, non-jailing highs there. Oh, Jimbo was trying to stay solid on defense for a while, but he eventually cracked, so this could give Nova Mage a chance. We're working on that guard base, but he slams that Sharukin right in his face. Lots of oh. damage, but back and forth. Nova Mage now has the advantage. He has guard, guard break. He doesn't know if he's going to spend it, but Jiminator ducks. Gets the punish. He decides not to go for the... Oh, okay. He, okay, he ends up taking it. Uh, you had to spend the bar for this? Uh, I feel like that's actually kind of a mistake, because couldn't he have ended it with just 3B? It's flashy, though. <laughs> it is super flashy. It's just that he had to spend the bar for it, Yeah, I'll, and that's his first round. You know? I don't know if the, if the scaling of the thing that he Maybe, uh, maybe. Up, well, I would have figured that a 3B would have just rung out in a spot like that. Maybe Nova Mage was unsure due to the breakable walls. Sure. And, and he'll just take the round, he's still behind. The round. Okay. Still gonna be tough. I mean, they, they don't have any meters on both sides, but Nova Mage has to cover two rounds. Yeah, at this Ooh. point, it's only like the round difference that's making a big deal out of this. <laughs> the Quake! Dude, Jimbo is so good at knowing the specific interactions that he has to knock 2B out of the air. Every character has some, but they're all kind of unique. And so I like the fact that Jimbo is aware of this kind of stuff. And it helps that he plays the, player, uh, plays the character. Yeah. But Nova Mage. See what I mean? Like, even if Nova Mage doesn't commit to anything, yeah. he still gets an uppercut that's able to get away from that. Did he want to do an RI? Man, so many of these decisions are confusing. Still, that is the third post GI that Jimbo's been dead wrong about. Jimbo not falling for the bait. Very aware. Has to deal with yellow guard gauge again. I'm telling you, 2B guard damage is really no joke. It's just not enough and gets it. So Jimbo has been wrong post GI three <laughs> times in a row and has been correct about a simple mid low for the round three times in a row. So which Battle one do you want to do? It's like one of those things where you like press which red button you want to be like correct about. One and that's one. a solid tool to to interrupt uh, to be you know it's 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 a 12 frame, and it's almost like a like Soul Calibur Five like Alpha Patrol boost where like oh I <laughs> I can yeah, yeah, the 12 yeah. frame and I can get a show It's not a lot of damage, but off a 12 frame like kick confirm like, pretty solid I would say. Now we're looking at Setsuka's stage. I would imagine this is the kind of stage that Nova Mage was hoping for with this change. Pretty narrow. Narrow. Uh, Ringouts are in play. Yeah. I think whole that's the main section. thing is Ringouts are in play. Plus the fact that its walls are in play, and yeah. Helmaru's wall game is really not particularly impressive. <laughs> oh, so that's how we're starting it out, okay. Yeah, are playing a crane game right away. Gets another good punish, very similar to how he started the first game. Does he get a huge punish here? That Heavy he does. Slash. 70 damage for your troubles. That's the launcher damage. Uh, does he do the full string? He does. Look at that meter game, yeah. we'll take it. And the guard damage, look at that guard damage. That's gonna be pretty important for Helmaru as well. <laughs> It's so, every time it happens, I just have a guttural reaction <laughs> as if somebody just punched me in the stomach. Because all the air escapes my body. And that's how I feel every time that Haramaru's Heavy Slash. So much damage. Such a great way to punish Duel. It avoids the 2A, but Jimmy hey. here, okay, just, just slowing it down. Yeah, really slowing it game. down, getting his I-16 punishes. 2B puts herself minus 16 kind of a lot. Are we going to be wrong this time? Oh, this is advantage Jim in here. Phase two. Oh, he there it is. Oh. Already has full meter, so yeah, definitely spending it. If you're gonna be, if you know that you're gonna be spending so much time just doing a bunch of reversal edges, absolutely spend the bar whenever you have it. Yeah, because you're not only deal with the scaling. Yeah. It's, it's favorable scaling to you. And Nova Mage, ooh, kind of, kind of ballsy to go into the phase two reversal edge. A lot of the the, the competitors <laughs> of this game is opting to like, nah, I don't want to deal with phase two. Um, but Jiminator's definitely going to take advantage of that, use that bar, be up two rounds. Jiminator looking so solid, using the Reversal Edge to really create that hesitation Nova Mage. So this entire game has been all Jimbo. Like, Nova Mage has frankly not gotten a chance to do anything that he typically wants to do. He's been Reversal Edge, he's been hit out with 6B, with Heavy Slash. It's still the case. An oh my god! In between the string, dude! Barehanded sword block. Decides to Soul Charge, absolutely. Wants to end the game right here, right now. Look at that chip damage, by the way. And these strings don't mean anything to Jimbo. Tries to AGS out of there, but we're talking about tracking Typhoons from Jimbo in Soul Charge, and this is starting to look very convincing for him. Character selection. No if way. Nova Mage is going to do what I think he's going to do, I don't think it'll work. <laughs> Switch to Aswell? Oh no, different A. Alpha Patroclus? <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a, that would be a pretty good idea if he was in here. Yep, this is he, he went with the way that I thought. You could tell from Jimbo's reaction. Do you know who it is? Pain makes people talk. 
pin me. Wait. Uh, I'm blinking. Clo close your eyes. You don't get to know. You don't get to know. <laughs> you have to figure it out. Who did he switch to? Come on, who did he switch to? It's a character he's played on stream a handful of times. Plays in, in an unconventional not way. Not as well. That a different A character. I'm like, Astral! It's Amy. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> you spent all that time to figure out Astaroth? So, okay, guys. This is Amy that we're talking about now. Amy versus Halmaro, a very odd matchup that I'd be willing to bet Jimbo is prepared for. But that being said, Nova Mage plays purple Amy slash white Amy, which is something that I typically say is not the way to go, simply because it takes so much time to build up. It can be very, very tough, especially with a high damaging character, to try and gain purple before dying. And I'm still recovering from uh, losing mix-ups all <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, that was but crazy. <laughs> Second but white. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's arguably, I don't know, it's, like, you can get White Rose maybe arguably easier than, than Red, but no, you know, you're not going to take the... No, it's so much harder to get White Rose, especially against somebody who knows how to deal with it and plays it very defensively. So I wonder how this is going to work. But with that said, the advantages of starting early Red Rose just, like, is not even comparable to White. It's just Red yes, is just so much better. True, but, yeah. you know, if you're going purple, you got to start White. And he says, Having, like, a backdash killer? Oh, my God, look at that. Yeah, re-R-I. Oh, tried to get a 2B. Still oh, doesn't B. have white, so doesn't get the full kill just yet. Back turn B plus K, Halmaru still had to block it. And the main goal for Halmaru in a in a matchup like this is just to play 100% lane. You never go in, not ever, ever, ever. It's kind of feel See, bad so charge there. Like, I can understand it because you gain so much meter with Amy, but this is what I'm talking about. He's at one red, three white, so he's potentially probably going to get white this round. In fact, he, no, he does not get the lethal hit. That's a shame. Uh, Gets it over there? the 3A. Decides to spend bar yet again. Needs to get these roses to get the ramp mechanic, but it's really not easy against somebody who knows the matchup. Okay, gets second red. Yeah, it's good. I afraid it's going to be too little too late. But yeah. It's, it's, Purple Amy is... Oh, my God. The counter hit. Heavy slash into another heavy slash. <laughs> Guys. I don't know what to tell you. White Rose is really not the way to go. <laughs> when somebody knows what's going on, when somebody's going to be playing very defensively and isn't going to fall for running into White Roses, it is possible to keep. Uh, it is possible for a good player to keep someone from getting White Roses the entire game. That's not the case with Red. Red, it is perfectly. It is inevitable that eventually. Red Roses is going to become a big thing. It is possible to play in a way where White Roses never becomes a thing in the actual yeah, match. and like the tool with just White Rose only, like I guess 214B is like really 214B good. 214B like will catch Halmaru's backdash, and he doesn't have a particularly good punish for it, assuming that uh, he even knows what the true blue punish is. So, you know. Sure, but they, there's almost like no reason to, to block low. Like, yeah, you get a 1B, but like 1A Red Rose, oof. That's, yeah. that's such, that, I feel like that's too important. To you know, establish your you your need that game plan. you need AAA as well like that that that's one, one of the, the best counter hit fishes in the but game. But overall, yeah. you just need the damage. That's the thing because the way that matchup works is that ninety percent of the time, how Maru is the one that's in control. How Maru is the one who gets to like spin around and just constantly corral Amy into a bad position, and you are chasing and sprinting and chasing all the time. But the second that you get in, how Maru is so slow that he basically just has to sit there and eat. Like, if his back is to the wall, he doesn't have a reasonable way of getting Amy off of him without taking a big bet. And if you have red, then not only do you have all of those ways of picking Hamaru apart, but then you can also stack on a lot of damage on top of yeah. when you're correct. When you don't have either of those, Punishment time. it is not going to be... It's going to be the match that we saw. Yeah, And, and that's was, the way it's going to be. Yeah, and it's unfortunate that we didn't get to see, you know, Amy, like, online, yeah, like, unlocked. Yeah, yeah. And he spent a lot of time chasing, but just simply did not have the damage to... I, I wish that was actually, like, a, a voice line where when she gets purple, she goes, Amy, online. <laughs> like, it's that timber. You know what I mean? Like just it completely it, different voice. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's literally just, a, a, a like, a robot <laughs> voice. Initially, she's just, like, a, a French... A uh, little girl, and then it's like, <laughs> and then like if she wins in purple, uh, the win quote is like, "Where did that voice come from?" Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. It's like two bees win, but like I didn't say anything. Yeah, 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 it'll be that match. But uh, that okay, guessing so this is the button check. Yeah, button check. We're so gonna go into. Are we gonna go into the exact same matchup that we saw before? Which is IB. 
Hamaru. Ivy Hamaru. And I mean, he's been playing Hamaru basically all day. The only reason why I would say it might be different, chances are it's not going to be 2B. He basically never plays 2B against Incendiate. Feels com comfortable that Incendiate knows 2B. Uh, but in the last Winston Night Fights, as I mentioned earlier on in commentary, he did go Raphael. I was thinking about that. Yeah, Raphael does have a good matchup against uh, Ivy. How did that match go? So it did not go in Jimbo's favor, but Jimbo was trying to do something that I found to be pretty ambitious, which is that he was trying to do a lot of like reverse ledges to absorb 6-6-A holds from like full screen to go in then into stance mix-ups, or to mm. straight up quick parade as like a spot like reaction kind of thing. He did stuff similar in the last match that they were in, yeah. where he tried to do a lot of like uh, don't think so, yeah. like a lot of auto GIs and stuff, and again, it was not particularly successful. So is he still going to try and fine tune this idea or is the idea now to just completely scrap that as a solution and go with something else well your theory is the you know advantage goes to the player hot off a win that's so true. that's true uh, you know he's, he's already warmed up on haramaru uh i feel like it's too much of a, a gear switch to go to Raphael because yeah. you know, go for a game plan that's, that's pretty specific against ivy so i i like that he's going with the uh, with haramaru um i'm predicting he's gonna go all the way through but oh, doesn't get a 16 punish Okay, yes. so, so many satisfying ducks occurred the last time these two guys played, where Jimbo was able to get a huge amount of damage off of uh, some lethal hits. And I like the fact that Incendiate, because he's got so much of a buffer, because he's in winners, uh, he's testing out the command grab breaking and ducking right away. Gets a huge amount of meter. Jimbo challenges this time on the plus frames. What the heck? It's like, just a way to get out of stance, I guess. Like right, oh, oh, and the jump B really does not have a hitbox until she lands again. That's kind of funny. Uh, see what I mean? Like he constantly goes for like these spot dodges, and I just don't know if it's gonna work. Yeah, he's going through the obstacle course, but yeah, he's, he's taking damage on the way. Oh. oh man, look at this shuffling! Lots of command grab opportunities here, and Incendi is just trying to make Jimbo duck. Oh no, oh, is that gonna be dead? Here. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Overall, yeah. pretty impressive in Cindy. It was a little close, but like, I feel like it was just like up to Jimmy Nair to go through the obstacle course. And once he got inside, like it's it's not a slam dunk as far as no. like the game is concerned because Cindy is uh, using that movement. He's threatening the, the the command grab, and he's trying to force Jimmy Nair to duck. So it's like pretty scary close range. That's After the thing about yeah, that's course. the thing about how Maru is just the fact that like even once he gets in, it's not like it is when it's like Amy yeah. or X or Taki, right? Where it's like a huge sticky amount of pressure. How Maru gets certain sequences that do a decent amount of damage, but then once that sequence is over, it's over. And yeah, those like those kinds of jumps also you can kind of consider as kind of like an auto GI in a way. Sure, yeah. Try and deal with those grabs. Yeah, you get the evade damage, but the uh, the follow up is not right there. But we're going rage, rage now. Okay, oh! that's gonna do it for that round for sure. But. He doesn't have rage for the rest of the game. So that's going to be a pretty distinct disadvantage that he'll have. We'll now, see if he can figure it out. Now, rage without issue, is that like a damage boost when he gets into uh, against the yellow life? In yellow life, I don't think you get anything anymore. Okay. I, I think once you're finished with rage, you He's don't done. have the strings, you don't have anything. All right, Somebody can so correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, man, this is just an infinite. These two guys play uh, so many know. times online yeah. that, like, I'm not surprised that it goes down to, like, Odd pieces of, shall we call it Yomi, because it's from so far away. It's not necessarily Oki because they're like across the screen from each other. Yeah, but still, it just it just looks so uncomfortable for yeah. Mario to like yeah. to challenge the long range. Like, yeah, you're looking for window opportunity. Jimbo just, just doesn't have like he doesn't play a sticky character other than 2B, and he doesn't want to play 2B against any Oh! Tried to RI to be a super swag monster. He's gonna have to just settle with the fact that he gets the the quake. It's okay. He got down to the last round. Not really any guard trouble to be worried about, but two bars and the stage is glowing red. Ivy for sure can get a ring out. I'm not sure if Mario can. Oh, okay, never mind now. Okay, now the stage is now. totally open. Okay, obstacle course. Jimnir trying to in find a window, trying to find oh. an angle. He was so it, good in the previous set of gaining damage off of Ivy whips. Is he? No, he, he just barely got clipped by Christmas tree. So and we're just going to see so much meter. We're going to see so much chip damage. It's going to be oh tough. Right. It's going to be rough and tumble right now. And it's going to be up to Jimmy to make take a bet. Take a risk. But, like, how do you even take a bet? You have, like, no resources. He doesn't have the soul okay. charge. He doesn't have rage. Find he has all these little tiny hits. But, yeah, eventually Incendi is just able to, like, scrap it out. 
You can only be wrong so many times, you know? Yeah, was it the 6A or 6XA? Uh, it seems like it's a good approach tool. The 2-2-A, I think, is the one oh, you're talking 2 -2 about. Oh, the 2-2-A, yeah. But, you know, it's a high, and mm -hmm. Ivy's uh, probably top two when it comes to uh, full crouch punishes. So yes. Even that is risky, so... I think it's got to be top one. Who would be better? I can't think of who would uh, be. Siegfried. I feel like full crouch 1B from Ivy is so much more... Doesn't need counter hit for the damage. Yeah, you might yeah. Be, yeah. Plus, one, the, plus yeah. the sheer amount of meter. Like, that's a huge thing, too. How Mara got a good stage this time, at least. But... I don't maybe show maybe showing it at the very least, showing that you're willing to do the uh, the long Your range approaching high. Um, show a willingness for it. It could it could change something. Yeah, for sure. The stage. This is a setup that he has used like three or four times on Jimbo. The uh, I think it's um like two one four B or four B eight I think or something like that into the low grab to specifically beat how Maru backstep. I think that's so cool. Oh, this is, this is tough. Yeah, but he has so much less room to work with now that Halmaru's going to be able to get in and get punishes like this. Yes. That's really the, the, the thing about a stage like this. This is the stage that Jimbo did well on last uh, set, too. Don't have to worry about ring outs. <gasps> wow, actually challenged. The oh, man, and caught got the mid. Caught Incendiate mashing, so it could... You know, we can see the cracks now. Yeah. Ooh, okay. The, like, the only out. reversal edge into break attack that we've seen. Almost rolled... <laughs> The coils. Nice break. Break in CS. This ain't no parsec. Nah, oh, break this again. ain't no parsec, We're Mr. Line, Man. Baby. We are offline right now. Gets a huge punish here. 1k, 1k, decides to spend bar. Okay. He really wants this round. He only needs like one or two hits. This is how Mara we're talking about. Oh, Ooh, so that close. Was armor. Oh man, that sucks. Was that an armor move? Yeah, that was armor. That was All heavy right. slash. And then once he got hit by that, the Heavy Slash went offline because even though he's in Soul Charge, he doesn't have enough life to absorb something with armor, so that really stunned him. Feels that frog, though. With all the meter in the world, it's just a matter of when he's going to... I appreciate that Jimbo uses two A spots like that with the express purpose of continuing pressure and not get hit by Jump B. Very nice. Keep it, I, I like he's keeping it tight. Okay, light lead. Okay, yeah. Okay, Not surprising. I wouldn't be surprised if Incendiate spent both bars if he needed to. Alright. Oh, GI. Nice. Gets it. Post GI. Dead to the next hit. Wow! Okay, that's not what Incendiate wanted. I'm not sure what he wanted, but man, oh man, that meter was a total waste. Feels like the stage is a big deal for yeah. Jimmy. Just not a lot of room for Incendiate to run, so that uh. makes it easier to close the gap. And that's been kind of a problem in the set so far. So Jiminator already inside. He's going to try to contain this movement, but answers with the CS. Good first post time that a CS has occurred in the set, I think. A yeah, no break there. Is. Yeah. Uh, two two K. Incendiate has also had a few good opportunities to fish with two two K in like these bizarro moments when Ivy is the Ooh. aggressor. Another break. That's the third one. It's an okay punish. 6B. Incendiate it again with tons of meter, though probably doesn't feel like they need it for this round. Some suffering will kill here, so oh, he's threatening it. Oh, the 6K it. actually needs to be blocked. That was crazy. Yeah, oh. goes for the full string this time. Yeah, decides to spend the bar, has to. What are we going to do, Jim? I think Jim was just going to try and lame it out, right? Yeah, he's just going to try to like... Oh, oh the 6 is K. He caught the Oh, push. that's not enough. Decides to spend bar back. Not enough really damage. wants this game to be over right away. Oh! The Quake! The Quake beats the 2A! That and Jimbo is takes his first game of the set. Such a great option. Just when uh, Incendiate was going for that 2A special low, Jimbo Nader just had to have the perfect answer for that. that yeah, that Quake, was pretty incredible. Jumping over it. Good, good stuff from Jim Jimmy He's had such a good time, not even against just Ivy. He's had such an easy time figuring out opportunities to tech jump, to tech crouch with warrior's focus, to just be very squirrely, just be very slippery, uh, yeah. and, and made it very difficult to do standardized pokes, which is kind of mitigating the fact that Halmaru is traditionally a slower character. Yeah, and it's, 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 it is so tough for Halmaru, but like, I like that Jimmy there, at least in the last game, just not too desperate to chase. Yeah. If he's desperate to chase, uh, Sydney is just going to have a, a good time. Incendiate immediately decided to switch the stage. I honestly don't know if this is the kind of stage that he no. wanted, because I'm sure he's happy to have ringouts as a possibility, but it's not that much bigger than the forest. So it's kind of a, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Oh, but Ivy's much better at building meter from this far away land. 
Wait, yeah, with that whiff, he's already at a bar. Yeah, he wants to challenge with the with the tornadoes, but I think Insidious is just okay there. just losing this round. No, yeah. Well, it's also possible that he'll just... Okay, well, now he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what he wanted. Still early. Yeah, he did get a meter, though. And again, important to remember, Jim was coming from losers, so he has to win two first to threes, the first of which we are now at Ooh. one and one. Missed the with punish attempt. Yeah. Oh, there we Doing go. Doing pretty well on these post GIs. Getting a lot of good damage. And he just got his 2-6-B uh, lethal hit. His Ooh. eat this lethal hit. Yeah, those 2-2-Ks are doing work. Yeah, he's trying so hard to block them. And he gets a pretty decent punish, but he's just been so unsuccessful at it. Oh! oh. Man, 6-6-A beats Haomaru's armor? Rude. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Nice low. Sydney trying to challenge, but Jiminir not giving him an inch. Okay. Jimbo looking pretty solid right now. Just has to make sure to keep away from ring outs. Nice he tight. Could be, uh, he could be pretty solid. Yeah, gets a good oh. punish on the double eye. And going for the instant while rising, that's really smart against the command grab attempts. Yeah. So it's just like, you're, you're shaky if you want to We have such a good grab. full crouch I-14, his 2B. Yeah. Like, it's, it's such a solid way of going about it. It's just so stubby in other situations. And lethal hits all whip, right? Uh, I don't remember. Does a lot of <laughs> does a lot of damage. Yeah. Ooh, what man, he actually is now getting those auto GIs that I was talking about before. Wow, he wants this lethal hit. He wants to end the game with the lethal hit so badly. Now you can tell that Incendi doesn't want to give it to him, so he's just like hard sidestep. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to end this with eat this so badly, dude. Oh, but can't be too uh, greedy for it. Oh, okay. riding over the armor. Now both spending bar. Well, oh, that range on that. Huh. All those little short hops. Just gonna get that little chip damage on the typhoon. Oh, the slide. Good Gets roll. Oh, and there it is. Okay, Jimbo up in the set. Two to one. I assume. Okay, it's any wants to just hard go with the stage. Are we gonna see Geralt later on? Assuming this goes to a second set, I don't know. Who can say? Geralt against uh, Haramaru, I'm not sure how that goes. Just I would presume that they've played it before, but yeah. I, I honestly am not sure. Yeah, it feels like they have like similar game plans. Uh, Geralt, maybe tierless wise a stronger character, but not that much. Not by a lot, yeah. When it comes yeah. to tiers also, we're talking about a game of interest when it comes to Soul Calibur 6. The difference between like the worst character in this game and the best character is yeah. really minuscule. You remember the days of like SC5 Spy. Yep. SC4 like, Rock and Yoda. Absolutely pointless. Yeah. We don't have pointless characters in this game, not anymore. The year is 2023 and everybody's cool. <laughs> Jimmy here establishing. Oh. Okay. Finally got caught. Oh, going reset. for summon suffering now. Summon suffering from the reset. Yeah. That oh. life lead is done. That is going to be incendiate. Just one more mix up. It's the not because. Okay. Oh, man. Ivy Ogie. Ogie is hella underrated, dude. Like, once once you have that, like, Scary. perfect knockdown where low grab, low stab has become a problem, it becomes very difficult to figure out what to do. Oh, gets the coils. Good whiff punish. Oh, good block, but... Yeah, not going to get a punish because you're worried about the second hit of the string. Senya trying to slow this down so oh much. Oh, my God, doing so... Just the timings on Incendiate, like the moment Jim wants to do anything, he's just getting stuffed. And he's okay with just getting these small pokes in because with yeah. the life lead, you know, you're just you're just, you're just suffocating your opponent at that point. That yeah. is such good stuff from Incendiate. If he if he can get Jimbo to just play this kind of super scrappy, we're only hitting each other with small hits, then eventually he can get out to a range where he's the only character who gets to do stuff. That was such a smart play to get away from the armor. That was so good. Doing strings oh. with multi hits. Oh, that was cool. And now we're just comfortable with the long range. Yes, the 6B. Wrong about the Warriors Focus mix up again. Oh, that's a bait. Just trying to keep him out. And yeah, make... forcing Jimbo to play like these little tiny hits, which Zenia is fine with, especially yeah. at a life lead. That life lead is, uh, uh, is going away really, yeah, really fast. Lead. Now has to deal with this chip damage on the Typhoons. But 6-6-A still providing this huge presence. Oh, oh what no. a huge heavy slash does not and do it. And that's it, okay. Caught. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude, Jimbo yeah. always has to have just that little extra hit. Like, it's never enough. It's crazy. Okay, early so charge. 
Yeah, he has so much meter that for sure you're going to just be spending bar all the time. He has not been wrong about a 2-2 two -two AB since the cows have come home. <laughs> Jump A. Oh, oh boy. Got the missed input. Okay, gets poked. Now we're in, but... Doing bare knuckle stuff. Ooh, Ooh challenges the string. They're playing so small right now, it's crazy. <laughs> Triple Ooh. 3A. He doesn't want to get command grab. Yeah. Oh, interrupt. But he's in rage now. This is going to be a huge hit. Let's get up. Oh, Jimmy Nair. So much momentum. Catches he the movement. Got it off of the Warriors. Focus mix up again. Incendiate has not been able to handle Jimbo's offensive pressure so far. It's crazy. And now he is on reset point. And you're doing. He was doing good with the Warriors focus mix up yeah. early on, but. You know, you can, you can only guess right so so oh, much. He got it! He just got the 2 3 16 lead split. You know he wants to do it. He wanted to do it last game, and you know he wants to do it this game, too. He knows he knows. Yeah, okay. see? He wants to do it so badly. Well, he got punished for it. Look yeah. at that damage. And Cindy trying to deny the reset point. That's okay. so much damage. This is all or nothing for Jiminator. Oh, he, he's trying to do... Oh, Aww. that was so smart. So many of those facets were really smart. Number one, you saw the bait There's to try no and deal with like the rush CE on uh, on how Mars like rage soul charge. Yep. It was a cancel specifically to bait that kind of thing. And then the second thing was a double high specifically to deal with one the armor and two the quake. He got rid of both of those options at the same time. That was so smart. That's so smart. The only way that Jimbo could have really heavily punished it was with just a random uppercut, and he hasn't been doing that. Yeah, Jimbo is a. Probably yeah, he he wouldn't he wouldn't do that. There's just there's so much on the line. Yeah, he could that's that's more of a high hero Joey thing where you're just kinda like you are know, just kinda kinda going for like a big read. Or like a toothpaste thing. Yeah. yeah. So like Jiminero will be, you know, a little bit more calculated there, but like that kinda gave the advantage to Incendia. It's kind of a you know, I know you know kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. it's a great counter adaptation from Incendia and that was that was only like three seconds and we're like analyzing yeah. so crazily. It was such a heavy exchange of ideas. <laughs> yes, yes. This is the reason why my videos on 10 minute matches are like 40 minutes long. Because there's so much to unpack. There's so much going on, this is yes. This Subruder film. Ooh, oh caught God. the reversal edge. Insane is so desperate in those stance mix ups, dude. Like, he is so he desperate to try and figure out what to do. He doesn't want to deal with them. It's crazy, it's not that much damage anyway, but like it definitely builds up. And yeah, it's a chunk. It's just the thing is that once how Mario gets that punish off of the correct Warriors focus mix up, his pressure is over. Oh, oh no! no! Okay, he didn't fall for the second one. <laughs> Guys, you got it. You got to tech up tech, immediately, yep. and you have to have been teching before the animation of the unblockable even starts. That's the thing of yeah, it. Technically reactable, but if you're not ready for it, then yeah, yeah you just have to be you. prepared for it. Especially Ooh, tried to GI the second part of the string, I think, or the third part. That is high pressure situation, though. Grand final, so it's easy to yeah. You, know, you, you, you can't look for everything, but interrupts the CS attempt. I think that was. Dude, they are scrapping right oh now. My God. With a capital S, I, bare knuckle, bam, belly blow. Not allowed to ducks. step. Diminator, probably more aggressive than he's ever been. <laughs> Look at the aggression coming Dude, from Jimbo wants his reset point, so bam. Oh my god. 6-6-B six, six, into he, 1K. He is now on reset point yet again. He's Number playing two. angry. Just he, <laughs> yeah. He is enraged even when Halmaru isn't. Like, the, weight, the weights have come off. Like, Jiminator wants this reset. Oh my god. Yeah, this is some Rock Lee stuff. <laughs> oh, that air grab was good. Wow. Great. You know who else is upset? <laughs> Both of these guys are just so mad. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if we go to the player camps and they're just punching each other in the face <laughs> in real life. <laughs> Run up 6K. Incendiate has had enough. <laughs> Time to soul charge. Here we go. Oh, oh, a huge hit. Kind of a glancing blow, though. <laughs> Run up C is okay. Run up CS. There's so oh, much anger. One. There's so much rage on stage right now. Rage stage. <laughs> stage of rage. Homebreaker. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not copyrighted. I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit of meter to oh, go, but no, that was a huge amount of damage. Is Jimbo gonna be able to get his reset point? Did he the get movement? it? He, wait, I think that's it. I do believe that C is gonna Scaling? do enough damage. Well, the yellow life though, I think that's enough. This should be it. Yeah, this should be it. He's not Shanghua, right? No, no, no. That no. is reset. Okay, Jimbo reset. Look at that relief. Has reset it. <laughs> that jaw is clenched. <laughs> That head is nodding, those arms. <laughs> Incendiate's saying, no, nah, man, I just want peace. Just peace, bro. <laughs> now, Incendiate was like, that's two, right? And Jim was like, I, I beat you, dude. <laughs> you have lost the game. Now yep. it is time to play another one.
I love it. Is it going to go to Geralt? All eyes are on Jimbonator right now. The Jimbonator. Both of these players going to bonus round. Insignia looking at the camera, begging, pleading for help. <laughs> both of them having incredibly similar hair. <laughs> Jimbo pointing at the color yellow. Mustard. Mustard shirt from Jimbonator. I still haven't heard the the voice dialogue. I'm curious to see Senia really going into the tank here. This is a reasonable time to do it. He's hovering Geralt. I think he's hovering Geralt. He's hovering Geralt. I don't know what that matchup is like. That's Geralt. Oh, he's gone with Geralt. Okay. He's switching away from the, Ivy. The beginning of I can definitely tell he doesn't want to play X. To be honest, Insenia is not about playing X. Not just this weekend, but just in general right now. Uh, I feel I like that. we're looking at an Ivy Geralt player for both here and bonus round. I like that. I feel like this is a statement from Zinni. It's like, hey, it's because we're talking about two characters that want to play a similar game plan. So for me, Zinni is saying, hey, I can play your game plan, but better. I can play the game that yeah. you're playing, but I'm going to outplay you. He's not going to get as much damage on. Oh! Well, it was a bait. It was a bait. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> okay. I mean, he's coming from winners. He has the opportunity to cool Jimbo off. We're on the exact same stage that we started the first set on. Okay, and I take it back then. So forget everything we talked about with Geralt. That it's, Geralt was a lie. It's, I mean, sticking to Ivy is not the, the crazy thing anymore. I no, mean, it's, 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 it's a solid game plan. Yeah. You saw the struggle. That it was 2-2. Two -two. Like, yeah. it's, it's not like, you know, he was getting dominated as he was playing Ivy, so Plus, it's fine. There's still some time to switch to Geralt, maybe, but, yeah. like, you know, we, we saw how much damage that Ivy is capable of just yeah. trying to ship how Mario from and even meter. thinking about going in. The yeah, the meter game is great. The meter too. Yeah, honestly, I think that if we were going to see a character change, it was going to happen there. I'd be very surprised if Jimbo or if uh, Insignia decides to change right. characters this far into the set, like after this game. Goes for the force Let's block, 6B, not so much. Looks like it's going to be Insidiate here with this round one. Oh, not convinced oh. yet. Oh. Okay, well, yep, that's there's it. it. But okay, Jimbo was able to get a little bit of meter, take some meter from Incendiate out on a clearly lost round, so that's a little bit of a win. The stage is red, so I know for sure that Ivy can get a ring out off of a destroyed wall. I but, don't know about Haomaru. Yeah, if I'm playing against Haomaru, like, I, I'm probably not afraid of the ring outs, no. but Ivy on the other hand. Over small walls. For sure, sure, but other than that, not really. No, no more so than any other character. It's funny they're mostly playing the center of the ring. Yeah, they're both playing still super cautious. This is definitely uh, uh, never what mind. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, sir. Shut up, Jay. <laughs> you could have told me you didn't want me on commentary, bro. Does he get a like ring? Oh, he doesn't get a punish. Ooh, keep oh, the tight. God, keep very cool and contained. One round apiece. Resources, similar. Does it, oh, he tried to get a punish. He tried to go in for a heavy slash. That's but happened to all of us. mistimed it, yeah. Even on, offline, it can be a tough thing. Yeah, just being anti for you with punish. Not getting those punishes on those 6-6-8s. Six, six, that is minus 12. I'm kind of surprised that Senia doesn't want to pull something like that out. Okay, okay here's the wake huge up. Huge amount of damage. Has to spend bar. Jimbo doesn't have to yet. Okay. I actually think that was pretty bad because now we're going to have to deal with the Oh, what an RI. An uppercut. That's not going to do it just yet, but dead yeah, to the this Oki right here and gets the mid. Jimbo, I swear to God, is on like an 80% success rating with his Warriors Focus mix. It's crazy. Oh, oh that guy be missing. Okay, it. Jimbo is getting nervous. Jimbo is getting a little bit like reacting to like barely anything with some like he's really trying to make some big plays and I hope he's not getting too nervous because this would be the first time that Jimbo has been an NEC champion as far as I know. Oh that'll be that'll be sick. Yeah. Going not to the, going back into the pantheons as people like God, insane. I, can, I can sense the hunger here. Incendiate. What's it? But incendiate with the soul charge. Um Honestly, pretty scary. The 2 2 yeah. a is it's just a chunk of damage. 2 2 AB. He's been so right about those two. Oh, oh that's a shame. He was right, but not right. Okay. <sighs> okay. That soul charge is done. Can't potentially do another uh, soul charge, but Jimmy Deer. Oh. oh. Oh, wow. He ducked and just did a 2K. And oh, there it is. It. Wait, he took the bar, too. I think he counter hit like a soul charge or soul attack or something. Boy, Jimbo in charge. It's not like it's a huge blowout. It's so deceptive because the rounds are taking a long time, but Jimbo is decidedly winning. So 
Incendiate really has to go in the tank here. This has been like the hardest challenge he has had in quite some time. And that was a that was definitely a challenge with the the, the stage is definitely like like pretty claustrophobic. It's enclosed. So. Oh, I am surprised. <laughs> last Yo, time, last time these guys played this was in Wednesday Night Fights or Mighty Moves or something, and uh, Jimbo won pretty convincingly. On top of that, I wasn't lying about what I said before, folks. Like, Incendiate told me, Incendiate told me to my face that he did not want to play Zhang Hua. So I, he everybody- He owes us an apology. Yeah, every, every, everybody, if Incendiate wins this or, you know, whether he wins it or loses it, everybody go on his Twitter and ask him, why did you lie to Jay? <laughs> That's the most important thing about NEC this year. But what a pickup! Not even the Geralt going for yeah. for Shang Hua. So you have access to the ten frame A. So that's uh, that's a big deal. Obviously the two two B uh, side step uh, launcher, everything you want in a move. And the but most important thing is being super sticky with your pressure. It's a radically different kind of play style than what Jimbo Nader was playing before. So now he has to be the person who keeps out. Now the backdash from Jimbo is really going to come into play. Six SB is such a good tool to yeah. draw. close the gap. on block two. Rolling around, trying not to get hit by the 2-2-Bs. And sending it with no meter yet. That's obviously going to be a very big deal in this set, is uh, Zhang Hua's bar. Wow, 6-B on counter hit, stomp the toes. And, and Sydney kind of like playing a little bit more risky than Jimmy here. Jimmy yeah. is just kind of, you know, feet planted. Just Which ready. is to be expected, seeing as how you're talking about a shorter range character. You and I both know the efforts that one has to do to yeah. deal with a long range, higher damage character where you're tiptoeing yeah. around a giant. Oh man, Jimbo is on fire right now. Just correct about all these guesses, 100% clean movement, counter hit fishing and timing. And I'm the sure whole Incendi package. I'm sure Incendia was uh, hoping that Jiminator would maybe struggle with adjusting to the new playstyle. Yeah, and it seems no like he win. hasn't but yet. But Jiminator seems pretty comfortable. It uh, looks like it's going to be Incendiate's round, uh, but the, the amount of risk that Incendiate is taking versus the amount of risk that Jiminator is taking. Um, I don't know, it, 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 it could go one way. It could be go with Jimmy's yeah. way, but that's uh, as if shutting me up, Incendiate ties up the rounds. Incendiate spending bar at the end of a round so as to express his frustration <laughs> with the current situation. So much anger in stage. Yeah, Jimbo trying to really <laughs> lame it out, but like in a way that also shows that he's angry. He's being like aggressively, like angrily defensive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Picture a shield with a big frowny face on it. <laughs> I hate holding block! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Still okay. Decide not to spend the bar. Okay, yeah. Spending the bar now. Something that I always talk about when it comes to X. People complain about her CE, and it is scary and terrifying. But it is important to note that her soul charge is is pretty bad, and so the idea should be to spend meter more, uh, more readily at the beginning of a game rather than near the end of a round because he's still dead to one wrong guess. Yep. Jimbo still can't get hit by a 2-2-B, two, two a 3-B, oh. or have anything blocked. With Rage, he is dead to his Chunk Hossi. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing minus 12. Uh, oh, no, he just, no bad whips. He, ma he makes the Sunday spend bar and get nothing out of it. Again, <laughs> Shanghua's Soul Charge, he gets some good damage, but it evaporates very quickly and doesn't really provide her an additional way of getting in. So. Yeah, well, as far as meter usage, Shanghua, it's basically all about this. Yeah, uh, see your bust. Soul Charge can maybe get you out of pressure, but really, you want that CE. Okay. Again, just laming it out. Incendia getting kind of frustrated here. Still playing it sort counter. of like Ivy, in the sense of like not really going in too heavily, and yes. kind of needs to. All of these exchanges. Okay, um, is that dead? He is, yes. right? Okay. Uh, he's got Rage, so I would say dead. Yeah, I think he's dead. And we're going to go on to the last round. Yeah. Now again, I do believe that because we're looking at one bar from Incendiate, I think Jimbo should spend bar almost immediately. Like, as soon as humanly possible. If he decides to wait on it, yes, exactly. Good. This is the way to go about it, because then you get to be a Soul Charge character against a non-Soul Charge character, or Incendiate spends... <laughs> I felt it too! Oh, he uh, doesn't block the second hit! He just got the 2-3-6B lethal hit too! I need an adult. I'm not one of those... But he still has the X C E. He can still potentially oh lane God. this out. How do you make a comeback at Shang This is here? so tough. Six six B. It's like your only option to get in, dude. Yeah, you just have to do six six Bs and be right seventy five thousand times. It, it's honest work, but it's work. <laughs> Thirty seconds. I don't know, block. man. Jimmy I here. feel like if Jimbo really wants to make a statement, just do this to timeout, dude. 
just make this a timeout. Okay, oh don't get egregious, though. It, like, it is possible that in one get-in, one knockdown, Sendy could potentially bring this back. 17 really seconds left on the clock. careful. Yeah, but there's still bar on top of things. So even when the, the, the timer goes all the way down, and Sendy does, okay. Okay. Oh boy, I appreciate the fact that it really seemed like Jimbo was getting a little bit too tenuous, just a little bit too much, and it didn't end up coming to fruition. So he is now on NEC. That was so slow, Jimmy I was about to pass out. And yeah. So, so Jimmy Nair being on stage it, it's and so him difficult not to be out. Like, it's so difficult to carry that tension with you the whole time. You're going to carry that weight. Carry that weight a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Sure. I think that's the only one I'm going to do. I oh, promise. They're... No one believes you. Yeah, well, <laughs> I honestly can't think of any other Beatles references that work with Soul Calibur right now. So. Yeah, and 78 deep in the tank yet again. Yeah. Who is he going to pick to play against the Jimbonator? <laughs> I appreciate the fact that he does this. Typically, Jimbo does this with Maxi. But I appreciate the fact that he is forcing Incendiate to listen to this incessantly. <laughs> Because it's like, okay, if you're going to cool me down, I'm going to, like, jab at you outside of the game, dude. I would look at him. I would look right at him. See, Jimbo's looking at the screen. Nah. Look straight at him while you're doing this. That's what I I'd like him to, like, dub over Hamar, too, which is like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's so rude. He hasn't actually done this. Okay. So we, we have selected the stage. This is the character that Nazanian is either going to win or lose NEC with. And Jimbo Nader could potentially be the first time that he has he won a tournament pre-pandemic I don't remember which one and then this would be his first one post-pandemic for Soul Calibur 6 that would be tremendous yeah 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 to do anything when you're not incendiate post-pandemic is pretty rare Zephukai also with the win of bonus round last year then wow that hitbox oh a fantastic whip punish haven't seen a lot of those lately oh Oh man, we'll, we're playing this so cautiously. And the way Jimmy playing, oh my god, yeah. he, he'll be. He's just so clean. He's just so, like, fine with everything. Well earned NEC champion, but he's, he's yeah. still got. Both of them would be, yeah, for sure. But he's still got a ways to go, but this is such a good start. Oh, Warriors focus Warriors all focus day, focus baby, Jimmy no What would you call it if it's Warriors focus and then you, like, Warriors focus again? Like, what's, like, one level above focus? Concentration? <laughs> Warriors concentration. Warriors concentration? <laughs> Either way, he's concentrating like a warrior right now. Jimmy Nader. obsession just right now. Two oh, more rounds. he had to get, he had to block it. And he just waltzed up to him in bare knuckle. Okay, he gets the RE. Submit. Oh, take a shot. All right, Hamaru in oh, Soul no, whiffs the heavy slash. Incendiate. He gets a little bit of punish, but it's all about the situation. So he's going to get a knockdown. He has opportunities for a lot oh. more damage now. Catches the duck. Probably expecting a CS or a command grab yeah. or something, uh, something suffering, but Cindy has all this momentum now. He's okay. afraid to duck now, so Cindy is so oh, in control. He gets a lethal hit. The lethal he goes hit. for the unblockable. He should have just gone for it, dude. He gets another. Oh my god! Do it. Do it. Go for the unblockable. Go for the. No, he did not want to stand case. He's kind of screwing up a little bit. There's a little bit of spaghetti going on right oh. now. He gets a third uppercut to bring him to NEC championship point. Tournament point on the side of Chiminator. It is 2-0, it's about to be 3-0. Incendiate does have a lot of meter, but it looks like it is Jim Minier's advantage right now. He still has to play calm and collected. If Incendiate gets just one or two reverse ring outs, which Ooh. is perfectly reasonable for Momentum Ivy, killer. It, it, it's a complete downer. Like it, It'll really suck all the energy out of the room for him. So he still needs to play cautiously. Oh. Oh no, he's, he's, he's winging it right now. Maybe he was winging it the whole time, but he was just right and we didn't know it. <laughs> Got to like run up there to get away from like the terrible positions that Ivy can put him in. He's still got two rounds after this, so not yeah. the worst thing in the world to lose this round. But no. again, it's 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 all about the momentum. It's okay, decides to spend bar, wants to end the tournament right now in the next 30 seconds, and it doesn't really look like it's gonna happen. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, tried to arm right. heavy slash. Oh, uh, double jump doesn't work. I would say, wow, that was a completely random idea, but clearly Jimbo is a lot smarter than me. So much meter on Incendiate's side. We don't know what's going to happen. Incendiate, back-to-back -back tournament oh, wins. Oh, man, that would. Back-to-back -back tournament wins. Almost every major after Pandemic could. Last could year's NEC. 
could fall in this series right wow, here. Wow, what a choice! At like minus 10. Doesn't get a whiff punish, and then he decides to spend bar, so at least that's a little bit of a win in Jimbo's column here. Okay, catches the approach, gets the counter hit, gets the wake up damage, is in the warrior's focus too. right now. He's got rage. He's so he close right now, he's soul in soul charge. charge. He wants to do he's a soul charge versus soul charge right now, but you can't you can't do it too like you have to be cautious. There's that reverse ring out, it's I, still scary. I like the containment. The containment is good. Yeah, Don't let gets, him out. Get that get chip, some damage. More chip damage. Get some more chip damage. The he Hellbreaker! Okay, decides soul to charge. spend the other bar, so already that's a good thing for Jimbo! Is this it? No, he had to block the second part of it. And now it's all going to come down to... He has no life! Okay. Oh my god, that's no, a big hit that's for it. That's not it. That's not it yet. It's going to uh, hop back. 6 6 eight, not punished. Oh, they give it in! He gets a 3K! The 3K makes Jimbo The Jimbo oh is the god. NEC 2023 champion against Incendiate, the person going into bonus round as the favorite for winning all of it. The number one seed in the 200-man tournament next week gets knocked out. Down by Jimmy Nader, Please. NEC 2023 champion, well deserved. Haramaru, pretty much the whole way through. People in chat, please, please <laughs> type in the Jimbo Nader. The in all caps, the Jimbo Nader, because he deserves it. And that's exactly what needs to happen. Oh defeat. man, I'm so unbelievable. Tired. <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. That was exhausting to watch. Back and forth, win of Jeez grand finals, Louise, and then the dude. reset 3 0 after that. Jimmy Nader absolutely deserves to be the NEC 2023 champion. That was with Haumaru. Yeah, My with Haumaru. Is that the first Haumaru major tournament win? I would say, uh, Hubbadubba, uh, Hubbadubba, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Jimbo Nader. Thank you, guy who's in charge of the graphics. I appreciate it. The Jimbonator. I, I don't know if Habaduba actually winning a major tournament. I might be wrong. Somebody can correct me in the chat, and I'll maybe read it later. I don't know, but, but like at least an offline major. Um, I it's can't safe think bet, of but anything. I'm, I'm sure Hab Habaduba. Thank you, Habaduba. Yeah. <laughs> Habaduba. I always imagine that the name is pronounced Habaduba, but <laughs> I think that's wrong. But hey, shoutouts to the Jimbonator. I'm so happy out of anybody who came here that he was the one who ended up getting a post-pandemic so. tournament win very you know, very impressive I, I was about to say almost surprising frankly speaking not exactly but with that the, surprising. If, if, if observing the way he was yeah. playing through, he uh, throughout couldn't the have tournament. been worse than like third seed or something like that for sure like incendiate then nova mage maybe i don't because he got sure. second at ect i don't know but like yeah jimbo very well deserved very much expected expected by me Expected. I, I believed in Jimbo's success ever since he took on a character in Soul Calibur 5 that I quit because he was so bad. And uh, I'm glad to be proven right. Yeah, that was the uh, MLG where he busted yes, out. Yes, yes, yes. We played against Kayana, yeah. And that really got my attention on Jimmy Nero. It's just like, I, I thought it's this hard character was not so to. bad. Yeah. And beating a uh, you know international competition, you know Kayane, world renowned. Yeah, absolutely. And it was just like, and that was like his first offline tournament. It was like, who is yeah, this? Yeah, that kid? was like his first time <laughs> coming to anything. That was crazy. Yeah, Jimbo doesn't necessarily go to a lot of offline events. Is he? He's not going to bonus round, or is he? I don't remember seeing his name. I also did not see his name. And so that's what a shame. A sh oh, that is a shame. But it is across the country, so what are you gonna do? Well. He's got a bit of money, so that could help with the trip. But you know, he's he's got a family and stuff. Yeah, so, it's yeah. an eighteen-man bracket. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not that much money, unfortunately. Guys, we don't play Soul Calibur for money. You see all of these pro players. You see them on the Twitter. You see them on the YouTube. And yes, they're professional players, and good for them. Soul Calibur players play it for the stage of history, for the heart. We play it for the strength of our own wills. We don't play for it for financial gain. In fact, we typically, 99% of us play it for immense financial loss. <laughs> That's typically what we do. Okay, so. Maybe there are, seven, but. There are pros and then there are players. That's what I mean to say. Yeah, and it just, uh, it's just so much passion, so much energy in the community. Um, and I, I love it. I've been in the community for several years. and Several like, years is an understanding, guys. <laughs> this no, guy was here at the beginning of the computer. <laughs> so isn't that crazy? I think all, I, all I wanted to say, like, it's 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 been fun. It continues to be fun, and um, I met and we'll, this we'll guy <laughs> in tournament when I was just three apples high. Just you're just the worst. <laughs>
But we're about to sign up. Uh, Soul Calibur 6, uh, amazing game, amazing community. Uh, hopefully Soul Calibur 7 very, very soon after Tekken 8 drops. But it's been a pleasure, everyone. It's uh, worth it. SC7 is worth it. It's, 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 it's great. Um, you know, please uh, support the community. Uh, pay attention to the community. Um, you know, we will get a new game. It's just a matter of when. Um, you know, I'm confident in that. But other than that... Biggie uh, events always have Soul Calibur, and we always very much appreciate the fact that Biggie has carried it alive. On top of that, watch out for bonus round next week. Next week. A 40-man bracket. International competition. Bonus players. Secret Santa events. I'm not kidding about that. Right, right. So it's Omega signing off. We're going to run some ads, then we're going to sign off, and that's what's going to happen right now. And we're going to go with UMVC3 next after this. So don't don't click, uh, I don't know what you say anymore. You Don't, don't say close the browser. <laughs> don't close the browser. Yep, don't, Marvel's don't, coming. Don't take your phone and like you know do the energy saving <laughs> thing where you like, take it away. We'll be back. But okay. It looks like we've got hitboxarcade.com slash NEC23 for 2023. Take control. Get your hitbox today. And go for broke, Nerd Street, December 30th, Philadelphia, $10 entry. Uh, sign up, support your locals, get your offline gaming in. Great way to practice. Yeah, nerdstreet.com doing a lot of stuff. Broad Street Burst, weekly meetup, Wednesdays, 530. You've got SF6, you got T7, you've got GG. And Smash Brothers Ultimate, the, that local John, that's, uh, that's, yeah, yeah. that's Philly lingo. So that's Tuesday, Smash 6 right p.m., <laughs> you play Smash. Again, support your community, support your locals. Local host, speaking of locals, <laughs> so many different events on virtually every day except Thursday. Take a look at it. Pause the stream and take a look at the entire venue. Get that screenshot. Yep. And we also like to thank FGC First Aid. Um, they do repairs on your controllers. They've got big inventory. Please check them out. One of the sponsors also with that is Video Games New York, NYC's Indie Game Store. You got a phone number there. You got a, you got a website there. All kinds of stuff. They're doing a whole bunch of different events. They've got they've got a variety of different slides on this. You've got like the QR code as well. They do installations. They do community support. You've got equipment rentals, event packages, making it easier to run events. You got you got a whole bunch of stuff with this place. Yep, New York video game event. So get that phone out, scan the QR code, check it out. Yeah, VGNYEvents.com. Also, again, the QR code right there. A variety of stuff at this place. Uh, I think they bought. They're also. Hope you enjoyed that KOF trailer, and once again... You thought you were rid of us! We're still here, and we're going to be here just a little longer. Actually, we're Like, like, right like just a few seconds, but yeah. we're here! <laughs> but, yep, we are signing off. Thank you so much for joining in for Goodbye. Soul Calibur 6 NEC 2023. Give your congratulations to the finalists. Give your congratulations to the Jiminator NEC 2023 champion. Again, thank you so much for watching. Keep supporting Soul Calibur 6, uh, and stick around for Ultimate Marvel's Capcom yeah. 3. I am Omega XCN. I am JJJ, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.